sorry about that. <coughs> My computer decided to have a stroke. I can. Um, mm -hmm. It does enjoy doing that. Yeah. It's true. Mm -hmm. All right. We're just going to, we're going to jump back. We're going to jump into it again. Uh, I'm going to hit the record button on Riverside. Um, five, four, three, sure we're on two. Yes, we are. One. Hi, y'all. Yep, we're on both of the things. Good, good. good, good Hello, good. and welcome back. Sorry uh, about that weird hiccup there. Uh, there was there was some technical difficulties on my end. Um, my computer decided to just stop working for a second. And you, uh, you, yeah, you this is why we have the podcast. Yep. yep. <laughs> this is why. Yeah, this is why we have podcasts. No, I cut out all of the technical difficulties, as many as I can, at least. Um. <laughs> Do you have any idea when we dropped? Uh, it was like, right now. it was near the very end of, uh, I I would only cut out for like a couple seconds. Uh, maybe like okay. 20 seconds. So, yeah. Just, I don't um, think. Uh, it was basically right episode? after the, it was right after the, the thing where Carrie talked about hyping up how good Soraya at, is at fighting. And okay, then so Obi yeah. just mm -hmm. wipes the floor with her. It was like right after that. Mm -hmm. So, so we didn't get okay. the bit you were doing. Dang. Okay. That's okay. Uh, then I could just then I'll just redo it. <laughs> I believe in you. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Well, when everyone else is like just leaving, heading out, doing their own thing, pursuer just walks up to the devastated Captain Steele and bats him on the shoulder. Oh, don't worry about it, sir. Is that don't worry about it? That's all you have to say. Yep, yep, you lose some. <sighs> yeah, I know. I've been gambling long enough to know that still feels bad. Still feels bad. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and wallow. Um, oh. you do that. I'm, uh, I'm gonna enjoy my 13 credits and watch a movie. You have fun with that. He walks off. Pips his hat. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Wanders off. Is anybody else doing anything uh, while you guys are flying to the Maw Station? I'm just mopping the floor. Yep. Watch, watching him wave. Give a pursuer a look. Like, what, uh, what, what, what you think of that? But, uh, but a cat in here. Well, definitely has a gambling problem, but, uh... Are, like, the others still there? Or is it just Pursuer and Sparrow? It's just Pursuer and Sparrow. Okay, double check him. Yeah, Branchia would have wandered off. There's, uh... uh Branchia, Alien, like, you know, <laughs> runs is still over there, to put I the think. things <laughs> as well. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Branchia like runs past the area we were fighting to put stuff in its proper cubby and then runs off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seeing uh, seeing Aeon still there, I like look at my mop, look at the floor. It's like, oh, sorry, did you did you want this blood? I know you uh, you had an interest. Huh? Uh, um, no. Um. Now you sure? Yeah. I'm alive. But... I'm good. Thanks. All right, just checking. Continue mopping. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh, sorry. Uh, she, she runs off. Or not runs, but like walks out <laughs> of the room. Fair. She gets I was yeah. joking, right? She didn't think that was like I was actually offering her blood. Hmm. Now. Sewer so shrugs. Ah, uh, but man, a anyway, you, you, I don't know, you getting getting any any better read on the captain? Yeah. Uh, I mean, man's got a gambling problem, but uh, don't still need to keep an eye. I'm not seeing anything yet. Indeed, if he's uh. If he's out to get us, should have taken a sweet time. I don't know, something feels weird. I mean, like, 
what would be his plan here? Like, he's... He's completely outnumbered if you wanted to make a play for us. We are in the middle of nowhere. If you were to, uh... Say, drop us off on some style territory. We don't know who might be waiting for us out here. Eh, you think you might be waiting for us to go out on an away mission? Okay. Hmm. Could be it. There's a. Like you said, Megan's time. The only play that makes sense at this point. If he is going to make a play. Indeed. Think we should let the others know, or... No. They... They might just give away the game. Anyway. Bye bye here. Yeah. Actually had, uh... Another thing I wanted to talk to you about, uh... I, uh, looked into some stuff when we were at the Moss Station last. I went over to the archives. I uh, oh, did a little oh. digging. You, uh, you, you mentioned the, the bounty you're after. Uh, an old coalition guy, uh... Uh, Void, uh, Vodag Voidbreaker? That's the one. That's my, uh, my card bounty. How much do you know about this, uh, this character? Um... No, he's ex-coalition, current uh, warlord. Real uh, problem for people in these parts. Hmm. Gotcha. Okay, so just the generally uh, kind of publicly available info. Yeah. Gotcha. Load in his face. Yeah. Um, well, after after we uh, we were talking in the bar, and you mentioned that guy. Uh, it, it took me a bit. I was. It struck me as, like, it sounded very familiar, and I remembered reading an article, uh, I think a few months back, about a general who got exiled from the Coalition and was on the run, and looked it up. Same guy. And not just a general. He was part of the war room of the Coalition, the top brass of the top brass. Really? Yeah. Dream of the crop. You could say that, yeah. And um, I I, I have some some thoughts. I uh, definitely need some more information. But if the descendants of Obsidian have infiltrated the Coalition, and it seems like they have to a pretty significant degree then I would suspect that people who are part of the war room may have known about it what are you saying? hell like if maybe like it, it could be possible that he found out about it and wasn't willing to play ball and they came up with some story about him being a bandit to, to get rid of him You're thinking Voidbreaker might be on the level? I mean, I have nothing to base that on. It's more just wishful thinking, I guess. It would be really cool if, you know, we had an ally like that. He would be an incredible source of information. But obviously, that is uh, a bit of a long shot. It, uh, for all I know... The stuff about him being a bandit lord could be 100% accurate, and he is just out to make a book at, uh, the expense of the frontier. But, um, it, it, it's something I'd like to investigate, I think, if, if you're amenable to that. Oh. Nothing wrong with a little, uh, reconnaissance before, uh, we find the target. But, uh, Need to make some decisions once we find them. So, if you can find anything else, I'd be amenable to that. Okay. Well, 
Good. I, I wanted to check in on that, because, you know, in the event that, you know, this wild hunch holds any water, it might, you know, go against my interest for you to try and collect that bounty. Right. Um, understood. Understood. There's a uh, bigger fish to fry than a quick paycheck. Just, uh, don't want to, don't want to trust people too quickly. There's, uh, no. there's uh, such a thing as giving yourself too much rope. Absolutely. You know what I mean. Yeah, definitely do not want to walk up to his front door and say, like, hey, want to be best friends? Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> I don't picture that ending well for us. No. Well, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't bet money on that. Have him steal, mate. Yeah, he's uh, he's not good at gambling. <laughs> well, you know, like, I don't who... like I don't want to take advantage of the guy, but I kind of do want to take advantage of the guy. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, all right. Well, that's that's all I wanted to run by you. I'm uh. Th th thanks for uh, for being open-minded. I uh, live long enough, uh, as uh, better be uh, you better be willing to adjust to the times. <laughs> it's appreciated. Oh, all right. Uh, you, you need help with that? Is uh, I'm not sure if you're actually cleaning it up. It just kind of feels like you're spreading it around. Hmm. Oh, sorry. No, I, I got this. My mind's just wandering. I, uh, trust me. You, uh, stay with the Coalition long enough. You get to know latrine duty pretty well. This is, uh, not new territory for me. Oh, yeah. I'll, right. I'll get this, uh, cleaned up in no time. All right. Uh, Archer Layer Sparrow. And Pursue her, uh, heads out. <laughs> All right. All right, all right. Cool, cool. <clears throat> so, last call for anybody who wants to do anything before you guys get to the mall station. I'm probably going to take a short rest. Yeah. Fair. I want to get some stuff back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Go ahead. Everybody can uh, take, a, uh, take a short rest if they want. Hell yeah. Short rest, typical. Woo. Roll away, oh, typical. Woo. woo. Trying to figure out how to do that on this sheet. Short rest. <laughs> Woo. Nice. <laughs> Where's the new short rest area? Every button? day I we're think. out there taking short rest. Woo. Woo. <laughs> 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 to, to, to danger, watch behind you. There's a stranger resting behind you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> if that's everything, then. <laughs> After the two hours have gone by, you guys arrive at the Moss Station. Uh, your ship pulls in um, without really any any hitch. It's not at all crowded. You guys are the only ship besides like some of the amoeboid ships that are kind of just always stationed in the in the Moss stations. Um, but yeah. You, uh, you guys pull in. Uh, Branchia takes it upon himself to find the, uh, find the person, like, the, the repair people. And, uh, they tell him to repair the ship. Yes. Yes. So. Then it. Um. What does the captain want us to do? Uh, he tells you, you have free reign. Uh, for the next, let me see, 24 hours, I believe. Ooh, okay. Mm. We get a day off, you guys. Ooh, heck yeah. We got shore leave. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess, is there anything about, like, if we explore this moss station, 
is there anything to see that like we wouldn't normally see in like the you know the the better kept ma stations closer to the galactic center like is there anything like mm. really weird uh not really it's more Ooh. like barren there's not as many not really any establishments besides like the 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 bare essentials it's like and a small town that has like a gas station pretty much maybe yeah. a patty prince <laughs> exactly like is there a <laughs> Is there a star space? It's like a Starbucks, but it's in space. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> space bucks. <laughs> well, no, that's our money. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <Right. laughs> no, there's no star space. Uh, what? There's a knockoff version of it called Starbucks. Um, oh, <laughs> oh okay. disgusting. That's Gross. Ugh. It's also really. I'll settle. It's, just, it's all overpriced stuff. It's like really just not at all filling. Oh. Why would you spend your fucking credits there? That's stupid. I don't know. I don't know why <laughs> anyone would. Bobin walks out carrying like a tray of refreshers. <laughs> <laughs> that's 30 credits. That's fine. Yeah, I just that, won some. That's a, that's for how many? Honestly, how many are you getting? For how many, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, like four? Okay. Uh, That's like 35 credits, yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, but, yeah. God. No, that's accurate, honestly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, unless you're getting like ventis, yeah, that's accurate as shit. I don't even have that amount of money. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and at 18. I used to have that money. <laughs> oh, no. I used to have refresher money. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's got money. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. Come out, carried a bunch of. Bunch of off-brand, disgusting Starbucks refreshers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what flavors are they? Let me let me let me do a phone a friend on that one. Carrie, what flavors are they? Oh, you can get the you get the strawberry acai one. You can also get the pineapple one. It's disgusting. And unless we want to, I know, and unless we want to make up like a flavor for it. Like, finally, you can just pick a fruit and say it's a refresher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was trying to add like a spaceport manteau to pineapple into like a spineapple. It's like, oh, oh no, wow, that sounds horrifying. That sounds <laughs> it's so awful. upsetting. It sure yeah, does. Yeah, they awful. call, like, if you get it with like coconut milk, they call it the pink drink if it's a strawberry one. And if it's a pineapple one, they call it the paradise drink. I don't know Ooh. if there's anything there, but there you go. I'll get one of each of those. I got the strawberry acai. I got a pink drink. I got a paradise, and I got a. I got a. Pineapple. pineapple. Yeah. Pineapple, <laughs> pineapple refresher. Yeah. Yeah, pumpernickel refresher. Nice. <laughs> nice. Very nice. I ordered a biscuit, and they got this one wrong. Uh, but oh, <laughs> just huh. like biscuit floating in the refresher. Oh, <laughs> it's like a fucking oh. add-in, like on top. Uh, <laughs> oh, but you've already good. finished it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it must be so good. I mean, the bread takes up a lot of the drink. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> Pull out the fucking borky seasoning and put it into his drink. <laughs> Is oh, that better? Oh, hold on. I gotta stir it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's way ah, better. Okay, good. Is there... And now I got a snack for later. <laughs> Is there anything you guys are doing within oh, over the next pretty, 24 hours? No, well, well Bobin. if it's okay. just the four of us, if we're like, are we like walking and like drinking our ridiculous beverages? Or are we like sitting down like we were at the Patty Prince? It's up to you guys. Yeah, Pursuer's not drinking either way. He's just kind of holding the, the refresher. Oh, it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's poor boy. Well. <laughs> do, you, do you give one to Sparrow? Yeah. Of course. No, which, which flavor is it? Pink drink. Nice. All right, which one was that? That's... It's the, the strawberry one with the coconut milk in it. I say as I swirl that exact drink that I have in real life right now. <laughs> gotcha. I'm trying to think because I know cats don't like citrus. Strawberry's not citrus, is it? No. 
Mm -mm. No. It's like, it's acidic, but... And also, you know, there's coconut milk in it. It's milky. That's true. It's creamy. <laughs> shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just licking the foam off the top. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yes. Lim, 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 lim. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? what? What did I do? It's fair. <laughs> You're a little bit adorable. <laughs> what? No. I am not adorable. You are, though. I am a hardened mercenary bred to kill. Blim, 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 blim. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> I'm just I, drinking my drink. I attempt <laughs> to take a picture of Sparrow lemming the drink before he notices and gets upset. Rustle rust out of hand. Here I go. <laughs> Get him. Hey, uh, 13. Uh, Sparrow, what's your passive perception? My passive perception, it is... Where? Yeah, I guess I can never find it on the sheet. It's just perception, and then you add a 10. Yep. Oh, okay, fair. Oh, um, 13. <laughs> oh, meets beats it, shit. Uh, I think this is... Yeah, you would have had to get over a 13, I believe, uh, in order for him not to notice. Ooh. So... <laughs> Sparrow, eh. uh, <laughs> you notice Bobin <laughs> trying to be very sneaky with the uh, with his camera. Is he don't die? Oh, I got something caught in my throat. Oh uh, no! Drink water. The cream. Oh, <laughs> the drink is poison to him. Oh no! Oh, no. oh god! Coconut I photographed him mere moments specs. before his death. <laughs> Yeah, that's the picture of just fucking Sparrow choking. <laughs> <laughs> like a little bit of cream on like the tips of his whiskers. <laughs> oh! oh my god. I I honestly I wanted to fail that, so if it's cool with you, yep. can I notice after you have already taken the yes, photo? Yes, that's Absolutely. completely fine. <laughs> Alright, cool. Get the cutest picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? What are you, stop that. Stop that immediately. Oh, Put that away. <gasps> like oh, leans have... over to pursue her and Soraya. <gasps> you have to send that to me. It's so cute. Oh, I'm sending it to everybody. Oh, man. You. you will delete that immediately. And I'm sending it to pursue a whoop. But it's so good. It should be your profile picture. Look at how cute you are. I'm changing this contact profile info in what? my phone. <gasps> uh. Now, every time you call me, it's going to be you going like blah, 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 on a little drink. <laughs> Upload it to Spacebook. Mm -hmm. yep. yep, 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 yep. We use a Spacebook anymore. <laughs> I only use MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, no notes. <laughs> yep. Excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. Send it to Alien. Whoop, send it to the Captain. Whoop, send it to... <laughs> oh, Captain. <laughs> Um, Don't send speaking. it to Aelion, she might be my enemy. <laughs> I want to talk to you about that. Um, to your distant. My... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Incredible. <no. laughs> like, do, do we feel like she's our enemy? Or do like, well, I mean like Sparrow, you like, you, you want to leave the descendants, right? I, I mean, I, I want to make something very clear here. Um, I'm not part of the descendants. I have been captured by the descendants. Okay, so you want to get away from the descendants. Yes, yes, that okay. is that is more accurate. That is an important distinction. Yeah, I want to get away from slash kill them. Okay. Hmm. Well, I... I don't know if this is just my feeling, but I would like to not kill Aelion. She seems nice. <sighs> she does. But, like, wouldn't but, it be a good idea to try to just convince her to leave them? I mean, yeah, ideally. I I hope we... I hope things can go that way. Do but you think I, it's like a voluntary leave sort of thing? Like, she could just choose to leave whenever she wants? I would guess not. But... I don't know. It seems like she's low enough down, you know, the ladder that she doesn't really know anything incriminating, so... Mm. Yeah, they might actually just let it go. It might be too much trouble to eliminate her. can't remember. Are they, they, are they like, tracking her? Like, kind of how they are you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they seem to be tracking me by having... having her watch me. 
but if oh. they've got anything more specific, like, you know, like if they've put a GPS in me or something, mm -hmm. they put a tracking chip in my ear or something, then mm -hmm. I, I don't really know for certain. But it wouldn't surprise me. They always seem to know where to find me. Mm -hmm. Can they do like crazy space magic and stuff? Can they, can they do space magic? Can they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, can they? Honestly, it doesn't really seem to be their bag. They, uh, mm -hmm. they, they seem to have a bit of an aversion to it, which Alien story kind of jives with. It seems like they're really more uh, hot into technology, like the, I mean, like like like, like gnomes. You said mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. about how they told her that they wanted to shift like the use of magic do they want to like like you know like get more power like do they want to get more magic or do you think they're trying to do away with magic uh, uh, honestly i don't think we know enough to say for sure like, yeah I or think you know what do you, what do we think they told her what they were mm. doing kind of you know yeah i mean if if what she said was the whole truth then all they really told her was that they think that magic has too much influence like it, it pretty much runs everything every piece of technology in civilized space outside of the gnomus flotilla is powered by magic tech mm -hmm. oh, stuff's not he's right there's still some magic in there i don't know there is mostly gasoline mm-hmm which is a whole other thing. You're telling me that there's no magic involved in a gasoline-powered spaceship. I, I, I want, I want you to cite your sources. <laughs> I've never used magic on a gasoline-powered spaceship. It's true. I've never it's seen just... anybody use magic on. I've like, maybe seen a couple people, but like it's not. Like, you know, you don't need it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sparrow just stares at you for a few seconds, where he's clearly like. Do I really have the energy to have this argument? <laughs> also, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm like this close to figuring out how to power the dark matter core on this ship without any magic too. I'm like super close. <gasps> wow. Almost cracked it. Almost cracked it. I believe in you. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Just got to turn my socket wrench in just the right way and I'm going to mm -hmm. get that sucker to work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, you think, in your mind, you think it is possible to... Turn a socket wrench in such a way that it replicates the effects of pure magical energy. Mm-hmm. Do you have proof that that wouldn't work? Yeah. You can't... There's not a... The burden of proof is on the one making the claim, not the one who wants to disprove it. Why are you burdening me? Yeah. Is, uh, seems a bit so ironic anyway. to use the... Seems a bit... <laughs> Seems a uh, seems a bit ironic using the scientific method to prove or disprove magic. <laughs> Look, oh, it's going to Science and magic are basically the same thing. Well, then Bobin can use science to make magic if they're basically the same thing. Not in that way. You know what we do? We're getting we're getting off topic. Again. We're getting <laughs> off topic. It doesn't matter who's right, Bobin, or who's wrong. It, 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 it just doesn't matter. We just have to get back on topic about mm -hmm. the descendant stuff. Just glares at you. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. let's do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, pretty much everything powered by Magitech. So. If, for, if, let's say, their goal is to eliminate magic's influence on the galaxy, perhaps they are trying to position themselves as a technological superpower to fill that power vacuum whenever their plans come to fruition. Hmm. But for what purpose? Mm-hmm. I assume they just want to be in control. But what do you, what do you think they want to do with the control? Are the people around? Run, uh, run things the way they'd like to see things run. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, why does anyone, why does anyone want control? Control? Everyone thinks they can do it better than the last guy, and they're almost never right. Usually just a different flavor of the same old shit. Mm. Yeah. So, even if they're telling the truth and Elyon thinks that that's a good thing, it's probably not a good thing. Y yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Probably not. Especially, you know, seeing the lengths they're willing to go to to accomplish these goals, I... Do not have a lot of faith that they would use that kind of power responsible. I agree. <sighs> but yeah, we definitely need to find out more about the specifics of what they're planning and how they want to go about it. Mm. <sighs> and like, like we can't talk to her, like like me, Boban, and Pursuer, because she told you this stuff in confidence and doesn't know that you told us about it. So, it's it's a little on you to, to talk to her about stuff if you want to. Are you okay doing that? I mean, sure. I also don't care if you guys tell her that you know. I mean, we're, we're not friends or anything. like. That's true, but if we're trying to convince her of something, we don't want, like, the first thing that she knows about it to be like, Oh, by the way, I broke your trust. But, you know, you want her on yeah. your side. I mean, to set the stage a little, um, one of the first things I did to her was point a gun in her face, so, you know. Okay, but, like, we all on. do that. Like, Boba's yeah. my best friend, and I beat him up, like, 20 minutes ago. Like, that's whatever. I just <laughs> broke the sound barrier with a wrench and used it to smack Sarai in the face. Mm-hmm. That was for that fun. Was, it was for that fun. Was, that was savage as fuck, by the way. Like, it's yeah, true. Nothing. You did so good. It was one of our best fights. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm just going to say, you two <laughs> might be the exception rather than the rule when it comes to that. Just to say. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that said, I'd gladly spy with uh, either one of you. I, I think I could learn oh. a thing or two. Ooh, that would be, be so fun. <laughs> well, like, I, know how to, I know how hard to swing when I hit Soraya, because we, we spy all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to have to figure out exactly how hard to swing at you, because I don't want to break your little kitty bones. I mean, I'd say just go all out. That was I, my plan. I would, I would do the same. Yeah, I'm gonna go out. Okay. Yeah, all out. All out on you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if it gets mm -hmm. bad, I will lick a, a pack of Uncle Bulky's, and I will put it on your wounds. Oh, you're so you know kind. What? I'm Bolton. having some second thoughts about this whole sparring thing. <laughs> Maybe not super necessary, but it'll be so fun, Sparrow. <laughs> More like Sparrow, got him. Ah! God damn it! How many nicknames do I need? <laughs> oh, stop, up, baby. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, really, you only need the one there, Mister Fister. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I, I can talk to her, you guys can talk to her, we can all talk to her at the same time. Any of those is fine with me. I don't know, I feel uh, like if I told someone a secret in confidence, I want to, like, you know, I, I wouldn't want somebody to just walk up and be like, Hey, they told me that you did this yeah. thing. You know, maybe yeah. we all, like, sit down, or you tell her, or ask her if it's okay, or, like, whatever. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like, maybe you could, like, say to her, Oh, hey, like, those guys are my friends, like, and I think maybe they could, like, help with this situation. Do you mind if I tell them? Kind of thing. Yeah, it was, uh, better not to, uh, create an enemy when there is one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to create an enemy, but, uh, this is... it's a weird situation. She oh, for sure. has not... It's not like she's, you know, fully on board with, you know, bailing on the descendants. She is, for the time being, she is going to continue with her mission, which, as I understand it, is just to keep an eye on me and make sure I don't die. I mean, it's a good mission. Yeah, I don't really have a, a lot of problems with that, that second part. Well, I mean, like, she doesn't think they're sinister, right? Like, she thinks they're cool? Yeah, she, um... She seems to think they're cool, but she also doesn't seem... She wasn't completely stonewalling me when I was explaining the kind of horrific shit they've been up to. 
Well, if she doesn't think that they're bad guys, then you could ask about telling people. And if they're not, if she doesn't think they're bad guys, then she'd probably be okay with you telling people. But if she's got That's stuff true. to hide, then she'd probably be like, no, don't tell them. Don't tell them we can't trust them with that. Mm -hmm. Especially that Bowman one, he's too tall. He's so tall. <laughs> you think people gauge their level of trust by someone's height? Yes. I mean, Bowman can be intimidating to other people. Raggle fraggle, girl. Mm hmm. Oh, so scary. Oh. Uh, hide mm -hmm. all the villagers. <laughs> 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 nah. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. I... Well, I mean, I'm fine either way. So if it makes all of you more comfortable, like, I can talk to her first. I just think that if we don't want to make an enemy and we want her to be our friend, that it would be better going in there being like, okay, I'm going to, like, earn her trust. Like, I get that, like, you don't really care if she's your friend, but if we want to earn her trust and we want to try to convince her of something, that's probably the way to go. At least I yeah. think, anyway. Yeah, yeah I guess. I don't want to antagonize if it's not necessary. Mm. Uh, there there okay. was another thing I wanted to, I think I wanted to discuss with you guys. Get, oh. get your thoughts on it. Um, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mentioned it to, uh, you know, Pursua earlier. Nice no, um, set. Oh. Do y'all know anything about Vodak Voidbreaker? Uh, Do we spend some? No. Uh, Thought so. No. No. Gotcha. Who's that? Okay. Hold on. I wanna. <laughs> oh, oh shit! I, I still don't have to know anything. I just you, want to see what I would roll. You don't. You still don't. That's, That's fine. All right, you good, rolled it good. just for 22. everybody. Yeah, just for everyone, uh, everyone's knowledge who is just listening. He rolled a natural 20. Um, <laughs> God damn. On a pointless thing because you knew a, you knew nothing. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. I know for a fact I do not. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have never in my life heard this name. Uh, the... the one thing I will give you uh, from oh. that natural 20, it's very small. Um, <laughs> Vodak is, uh, you would know that's a that's a Goliath name. You just, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that's pretty much all you get. But is is he from the, the East Oren Goliaths? The East Oren Vodaks? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, Bobin. You're uh, so educated. Not super sure on, uh, on that point, actually. Um, uh, basically, try to keep this short. Um, that's the bounty that uh, our friend Pursua here is, uh, is after, correct? Uh, yeah, and uh, oh. Pursua you know, pulls out a uh, poster with Vodak's uh, face on it. Uh, get a load of this ugly mug. Well, that's oh. mean. He's kind of handsome, mean, actually, for a uh, for a Goliath. Um, <laughs> uh, got a his face. features are chiseled. Preserve said what he said, and I guess it's more sarcastic. But it's yeah, like I'm pulling oh. pulling out this handsome Squidler, Squidward looking ass. Oh, okay, hell yeah. <laughs> he's got oh. just to give you a brief description. He's got. Uh, uh, he's got shaved sides, uh, slick black black hair, um, gray like stone like skin, um, a tattoo that sort of is a line that goes across his eye, uh, and then goes sideways across the bridge of his nose and then down his neck. <laughs> gotcha okay um and that uh, basically um came across some inf uh, some information that uh, may kind of tie into our current goals here um turns out he is a former general of the coalition um part of a war room like the the absolute uh, top uh the, the the council that runs the whole deal Whoa. And they exiled him recently um, on accusations of banditry. Which is why we're in these parts. Apparently, uh, allegedly holed up in these parts with a whole horde of bandits, which he uh, <laughs> robs passing ships. <laughs> it's just so funny 
He's like, go elsewhere. We banish you. But we will pay money for you to come back. <laughs> What's the really plan weird. with that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, there wasn't a lot of detail. I, I assumed that he, you know, escaped without them knowing. Escaped but... leave? He was banished. Just like, go away. And then he did. And then he went away <laughs> the wrong direction. And they're like, no, come back. <laughs> yeah, perhaps, perhaps banished isn't the correct word. Uh, excommunicated, stripped of his his rank. That's just so funny. Like oh, all punishment is die. <laughs> like we just die. <laughs> you just get him. That then they don't come back because they're dead. But like Goliath, punishment is leave. That's just silly. <laughs> Pursuer well, well, shares a glance with Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the coalition does have the authority to arrest people if it sees fit, so I assume that was their plan, but he probably escaped before they could get him. Hmm. Uh, well. But, um, so, you know, I, I, I've got some suspicions here. Like, it, it's entirely possible that the official story is what actually happened. He could just have been abusing his authority as a general to run this big, you know, bandit operation. But I am beginning to suspect that the, uh, that the descendants of Obsidian have infiltrated the coalition to a not insignificant degree. <gasps> so perhaps it is possible that those in the war room either know about this or are in on it. That would make sense, because that story you said about him getting banished and then they want a bounty for him makes zero sense outside of that. It is weird. So, if, and plus they'd be like, oh, he's out there being a bandit and he's a bad guy, but he's really just like attacking uh, daughters of oblivion ships or whatever. <laughs> and uh, they're <laughs> like, hey, you can't do that. We're going to make you out to be a big, bad, mean guy, even though you got that chiseled face. Mm. You're worth money now, girl. Girl. Okay. <laughs> so pursue, just pursue or despair. This is the Thoral thing all over again. You got to be careful about what you say to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just never know what to be careful. I don't know what's gonna set him off. <laughs> Eggshells all around. <laughs> God damn. Um. So yeah. Um. These are all just suspicions, of course. Like. I have no idea how deep the descendants of Obsidian go in terms of the coalition. They seem to have a good amount of authority, at least over me. They, they were able to assign me to whatever missions or squads they wanted. They had me moving around the galaxy constantly to do random jobs. I don't know how any of it connected, but they were able to see it done, no problem. Hmm. So if this does go all the way to the top, maybe it's possible that this Vodak Voidbreaker wasn't willing to play ball. He... I mean, I, I know, I know this is wishful thinking, but maybe he could be a source of information or an ally. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Are you saying that we find him, befriend him, and get as much information out of him as we can before Pursuer cashes in the bounty? I'd say... Or are you saying that Pursuer shouldn't cash in the bounty? What do, you, what, what, what do we do? That depends say... on whether or not his suspicions are accurate. Oh. Indeed, because, again, this is just one possible interpretation of the, of the facts. We, we need more. We need to, oh. we need to find, I think, some people or, or something that can give us more information on what he's up to and what his goals are. At the very okay. least, him naming his organization Rupture seems like a direct dig against the coalition. Mm. And granted, that could just mean that, you know, he's pissy that they outed this bandit operation and wants to stick it to him, but could also be something else. Is it illegal to join Rupture? Oh. Um. I don't know. 
know, like, I guess, a uh, question for you, Spencer. Like, mm. are there, like, just officially recognized criminal organizations that it is a crime to be proven to be a member of? Or is it just a crime to engage in banditry, which, you know, a certain group probably does a lot of? There are groups that are, like, officially recognized as, like, if you are a member, you are, like, you're, you're, you are arrested pretty much on site. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, Is Rupture would... one of those? Do yeah. we know that? Mm. You would not know that. That's fair. Gotcha. Should we ask a captain? Oh, yeah. Maybe he knows. Think you would know? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, other thing I'm thinking is like, if it's not illegal to join Rupture and he's trying to get forces, then like, they gotta be recruiting. Can't imagine that oh. they just go doing banditry things and then uh, just get on the ships they're taking and be like, by the way, we're recruiting. Want to oh. join the workforce? Are you playing so, an like, incognito you know, mission? Spy well, work, Bobby. That could be that could be really fun, and I'm super down for that. <laughs> but I was just thinking, like, there's probably just gonna be people around on mall stations that are just like, hey, you want to join Rupture? You want a job? You want to do some stuff? And we could oh. just be like, take me to your leader. Mm. That's that's true. That, yeah. Are, are we still on the mall station, by the way? Yeah. 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 yeah we're, we're just wandering. Yeah. Huh. Captain said we got 24 hours while they fix up the ship. Yeah, isn't this like the closest mall station to like where the last known whereabouts were or something like that? Yeah, I think it kind of overlaps. Oh. Neat. Yeah, it kind of seems like things are lining up bit. for us. Ooh. Just saying. It was, uh... Hmm. Uh, I think the three of you could probably uh, do some infiltrating on that one i uh i worry that uh a particular regalia might make me a bit easier to spot <laughs> oh well, we can get your disguise oh, yeah disguise disguise we you disguise yeah we could get you a disguise we could get you a disguise we could get you a disguise <laughs> Uh, At the you risk of making you more excited, I think I might have a similar problem, given that I am wearing the uniform of his greatest foe. What? Well, I mean, that's, that's just changing crazy. your outfit, though, Sparrow. You don't need anything as elaborate as, like, a disguise. But if you want a disguise, we can get you a disguise. We can get you a disguise! <laughs> we can get you a disguise! Yeah! We should maybe not yell that. <laughs> we can get you a disguise. <laughs> it really echoes in here. <laughs> You know, they say in space no one can hear you scream. I have never found that to be true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of people hear it. I'll just uh, I'll take off my uh, my coat and put it in my bag. All right. It's is it is it making a disguise for pursuer time? <gasps> Are we doing that? Can we do I that? I would love to do that. Uh, that's not on me. Stopping montage. Okay. <laughs> heck yeah. Hell yeah. Uh. I want to try to help make a disguise for Pursuer. Uh, first off, obviously, you got to get him a black cowboy hat. That's, of course, that's part of, of the rules. Course. The bad guys wear the black He's hats. Guy, we know yes. that. <laughs> we know that. We, we've bad. watched at least boy. one Western. We know this to be true. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, we started. We started watching one Western. The, well, the white hat guy was about to fight the black hat guy, and I'm pretty sure that that was how it was going to go. I Based on half of one Western, I think I feel like I know the rules. I'm so sorry, Pursuer. I know that you're a good guy, but we're going to have to have you wear this black hat as a symbol of being a bad guy for your disguise. Mm -hmm. I'm so right. sorry. <laughs> yeah, Bobin, just, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> like as like as everyone's rushing, like as like Bobin and Soraya are rushing around looking at stuff for the disguise. Just mm -hmm. his just Pursuer like despair. I suppose it was only a matter of time before I said something I shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> it's a constant danger, my friend. <laughs> Bobin uses uh, a mix of the ship crafting tools and uh, just the stuff that he's got around his various tools to make a bunch of little robotic bits and bobs as like little robotic prosthetics for Pursuer's face, <laughs> including uh, eyebrow magnets that give you an angry glare. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, he, he looks also, so fierce. Also gets some copper wire and with like a knife and his thumb like kind of strips it so it curls out at the end and like <laughs> gives you a big curly Q mustache. Oh. <laughs> Boom. Got a mustache over his mustache. Yeah. 
Oh, you're so intimidating, pursuer. Well, like the one's just like part shit. of his face. Yeah, yeah. The, the one's just like part of his face. It just looks like a mustache. That's just his face. This is really a mustache. Oh. Look at him go. Oh. <laughs> I dub thee go getter. Oh. <laughs> you're a real go getter, go getter. Mm -mm. <laughs> Are you okay with that being your alias, pursuer? Um, I'm whispering your name just in case anyone's I'll, I'll, I'll think of something else. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. do, we need, do we need fake names? Oh. Uh, oh, do we? Oh. <gasps> I think we should all name each other fake names. Oh, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh, Spare, you already have so many nicknames. It's really hard to come up with a new name for you. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Maybe combine some of his old ones. Oh, like Saltwatt Fister? <laughs> maybe at least, maybe try something that at least sounds like it could be a tabaxi name. Hmm. Fist in the crevice of the... Butthole. Mountain. Maybe we're workshopping a little bit. Does anyone else want to get crack at uh, any of the rest of you? So. But what's wrong, Fish um, in the Crimson? Yeah, we figure out it. Yeah. <laughs> As you guys figure out a disguise and um, aliases, I guess, for mm -hmm. yourselves, I believe that is where we're going to end uh, this session <laughs> of <laughs> the Crimson <laughs> Saga. Oh, <laughs> oh what a good session. Oh, my God. <laughs> What a silly, silly time we've initiated. Mm -hmm. So productive. We don't even know if there's a recruiter on this maw. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> we just <laughs> dove straight into the disguises. <laughs> yup. We're really excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Izzy, it's got to be killing you to be the straight man in all these fucking situations. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why did I use this? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, uh, it's so kind of fun. Hell yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. We'll catch you next time. Uh, say goodbye, oh, everybody. Bye, everybody. We love goodbye. you. Oh, oh, All right. Uh, Riverside is it done. For everybody here in the stream, we're going to go again. New episode mm -hmm. coming up. This, that was just too. episode nine. So, yep. just a quick break in between, but we are still streaming. Mm -hmm. it's, just, you know, yeah. it's the first first half of today's stream All right. was episode nine of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody do you your bathrooms. You should check out the podcast. It's a good, good time. All yeah. right, everybody do your bathrooms. Hey, here, I go. here I go. Mac, Run go. Number. Right now. Go, Mac. <laughs> One moment. Just filling in my notes here. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy I expected to do not that today um <laughs> I didn't expect this, today's session to be that or the first half of the session be a lesson to you. right I shouldn't plan for things I was mm -hmm. I was stressed uh a little bit before I was like oh am I gonna have enough today like if, like are they just gonna blast <laughs> through everything because I have to plan for that just in case you're like yeah no we just yeah. go like <laughs> It's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> I have to plan for all that. But y'all, I never learned Be my fucking right lesson. Back. Yeah. <laughs> I never learned. No, no, no. Okay, no, Spence, before I go, just remember, remember, had audio issues with me. Yeah. The one fucking time I joined the call and I don't open with how do I sound was the one time my mic sounded like shit. That's true. Um so <laughs> A one time you decide, I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to prepare. We will speed run that shit and you will regret it. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Be right it's going to happen. All right. Good luck. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. In my in my extremely limited DMing experience, I have, I have definitely learned to, to, to never assume I know what my players will do. No. Yep. Ever. For sure. For That's even just... a second. This is just how it do, man. That's how it do. Oh, I uh, a couple of a uh, couple things. Um, thank you, Knox Skyfall, for the resub for your twenty third month. You. Uh, it's Sarah Cute and uh, Cute in 
uh, cute sewer and cutie on the wind <laughs> and <laughs> spend cute. All right. Uh, the last one is a little bit, uh, was, was fine. Um, <laughs> could have used a little more time in the oven. I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, it's perfect. What are you no, talking about? <laughs> Uh, thank you for the resub, Orange, Orangest Joe, uh, for your Ooh. 24th month. Um, and thanks for the hundreds of thou- if not thousands of hours of entertainment. You are all so damn talented. Thank you. Mm. Oh my gosh. So nice. And then thank you for the $5 Soggy Wonton, saying, Hi, Soggy Wonton here. I am on my way to Texas for literally two days, and then I, uh, and then I come back. Uh, I left from Denver at one o'clock and I am now leaving Colorado at 440. I have no idea how, uh, why I am doing this other other than it being a thing to do. You're just you decided to drive to Texas on a whim. Not, Is that what happened? Are you not going for like a specific thing? What? What's the plan, Soggy? <laughs> what are you doing, Soggy? I'm so scared. I'm so scared for I'm your well-being, Soggy. Oh, God! Oh. oh, God! Oh, geez. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, my goodness gracious. Goodness. Uh, how's, it, how's it going, chat? You doing good? Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. Enjoying yourselves. You having a good time? Oh. Good talk, chat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's why the um, sweet version of SAO Emerge is so popular. We can all relate to Kirito. That's fair. I I hope you don't relate too much to Kirito. Um, yeah. <laughs> he is uh he is definitely a caricature of a person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully it's not one-to-one, -one, but yeah. It's like... I suppose there, there are traits in there. It's like how you shouldn't... Uh, you shouldn't relate to uh, Rick from Rick and Morty. Because um, he's a... He's a psychopath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has done terrible things on a whim. Mm -hmm. And felt no remorse whatsoever. Yeah. And then there are the, the fucking dude bros who are just like, oh man, I fucking, I get Rick. He's just like me and him on the same wavelength. It's like, no, nah, I don't know if you should. I don't know if you should be. <laughs> you gotta have at least a certain IQ to really enjoy mm -hmm. Rick and Morty, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember no. a Mensa. Uh, this is slowly but surely giving me writing ideas. Oh, cool. Ooh. I'm glad to help. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm barely doing anything. <laughs> They're just doing things in the world. <laughs> We're being silly little guys. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, gonna infiltrate Rupture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's not happen. something I expected to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how else are we going to find out, you know, more about Vodak? We got we to gotta get close to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Get him from the inside. I I hope so. Saki Wanta, you did, you did just do it on a whim. You mad lad. What the fuck? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, welcome back. What happened? Close. Saki Wanta uh, donated $5 earlier, and he mentioned that he's just on his way to Texas for two days. Uh, okay. And he's decided to do it on a whim for some reason. Oh, okay. From where to Texas, though? From Denver. Okay. That's not as bad as it could be, but it's also still fucking wild. Yeah. Well, but... It's like, I just gotta Ugh. go for a drive, man. I just gotta go. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I gotta get in there. Gotta hit the open road. I mean, I assume you're going through uh, New Mexico to get there. I don't know where in Texas you're going. If you're going to, like, you know, Corpus Christi, that's a that's a drive. If you're going to just, like, you know, 
Amarillo, Dallas area, like anywhere okay. in there. I am okay. back. Welcome I'm back. so sorry that you have to drive through New Mexico, though. <laughs> <laughs> Truly terrible. Truly, there is no worse fate than driving through New Mexico. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we had the to first drive through Albuquerque beautiful. on the way to uh, Dallas from uh, from Vegas, and it was just awful. Like, there wasn't a single good thing in all of Albuquerque. Oh, God. <laughs> it's terrible. Sorry if you're from Albuquerque. Well, you should know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Lansing, uh -huh. Michigan, and it's worse here. <laughs> Oh, uh, did you did you get the message from Orangist Joe? The the sub message? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 24 months. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Again, I just got back. So mm -hmm. thank you for that kind message. Mm hmm. Oh. Let's see. Good God. You're driving so far from Denver to Houston. Why? <laughs> why? Why? Though? Enjoy Houston, but why? <laughs> DFW. What does DFW Detroit, mean? Fort, uh, Detroit, geez. Dallas, Fort Worth. Oh, okay. The DFW area. Mm, fair. It's a big, big old radius around there. Is North there a Texas. reason why Texas? Just Houston stuff. Just wanted to do Houston things, I guess. I guess. <clears throat> That's like, what, like a 12-hour drive? At least. Googling oh how far that is. That's like over a thousand <laughs> miles. I'm sorry. So I don't mean sorry. to laugh at your message, uh, my uh, dude. But um, a one upset spaghetti says every day I die a little inside. <laughs> Just the name. <laughs> the name oh, no, with what? the message really goes together. <laughs> every day. I'm sorry if that was a serious comment. Um, <laughs> it's just... Uh... Ah, I've returned. <laughs> Welcome back, Gary. It's snowing. Oh, mm. shit. Yeah. It is not it... where I live. It's sunny <laughs> where I live. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. An hour drive. It's a birthday ah. movie night <laughs> miracle. Aww. Hooray. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Mac's birthday. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, we should read the ad. We should. That's ridiculous. What? All right. Does everyone have the ad? Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, I do not. Fair. <gasps> have it. <laughs> Take I, it. By the way, have you guys seen on the Discord under B and D the the picture? The that picture of the cat. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take a picture of me. Not like this. <laughs> Face. He went, it went this, so hard. So hard cute, into that fucking pink drink. This yep. cute little kitten just face covered in fucking Starbucks foam. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Where is this ad? Is it in the, the chat? Did you post it in the chat? Um, you did not. See. It is not. You did not post it in the chat. Okay, I'll, I'll slap it in there. Hey y'all! Hey y'all! There we go. Thank you, my butt. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. All right. We need more peeps in here. That. I'm glad I didn't. Glad I didn't upset you. Upset spaghetti. <laughs> 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 they posted earlier. I thought it was funny because of their username. One upset spaghetti said earlier, "Every day I die a little inside." <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Uh, it's very sad. Very We're funny. So sorry. Funny username. <laughs> very. Upset Spaghetti is an incredible It's a really username. good username. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, Soggy. <laughs> well, Arriving all... at Whataburger at 5 a.m. Oh, my fuck god. that. Oh Dear my god, god, no. Are we all Are we all good? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yep. Cool. Carrie? Yep. Yep, I'm good, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's get him. All right. Uh, hello. And welcome to Ad Space. It's like a it's a lot like regular space, but here people can hear you scream. 
screaming for great products like Boulder Spire of Secrets by Mei Chan Press, the sponsors of this stream. Oh, hi. Didn't see you come in. You heard it here first. This stream is sponsored by Mei Chan Press, the sponsors of this stream. Very late on the didn't see you come in, and that last part was very circuitous. I didn't ask for your feedback, you whore! Ifically intelligent potential <laughs> buyer of Valda Spire of Secrets. Say, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Well, uh, let Carrie tell you all about it. What? No. No book out there? You like it? Correct, Carrie. It <laughs> features five brand new races and ten new classes, as well as... You guys always do this. As well as exotic weapons and new familiars you can use as exotic weapons. Like the pet rock. <laughs> so go ahead and get yourself a copy. Today! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Perfect Hooray! as always. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, big thank you to uh, Mage Hand Press for letting uh, for letting us do these stupid ad reads. <laughs> yeah, we really appreciate you. We, we yes. always get your approval beforehand. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> Every time, I'm like, surely. Surely we will not be greenlit for this ad. And every time they greenlight the ad. Every time. It's becoming an exercise to see what we can get away with. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep pushing that envelope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Posted, posted links to their site to get Valdis. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's so cool. It's it's, it's legitimately so fucking cool. Mm -hmm. like, really oh. love their book so much. Yeah, they've got awesome stuff. Uh... And the, and the guys behind it are really cool, too. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah, it's they've nice. been helping me out a lot. As, yeah, as shown by yeah, as shown by how cool they are with all these terrible, terrible ads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Can I just terrible. take a second to go back to that thing that Spencer said that was really scary and he kind of downplayed it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> they've been helping oh. you a lot with what? <laughs> yeah, go into more detail, please. We should get started the next. Yeah, that doesn't seem necessary. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, That's fine. I know. I sense no danger here. <laughs> As you should. You? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So scared. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so scared yeah, let's it. let's uh, let's go ahead and jump uh, jump into the next uh, little little stretch here. Well, then. Oh, God. Well. All right, I'm gonna hit the record on uh, on Riverside. Five, four, three, two. Hello and welcome back to Sweden D, the Crypt Star Saga, episode ten. Oh, oh. oh. double so, digits! So, We're doing it! Oh my god, double digits! That fucking hit me like a train. Right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so good to see you all again. Uh, what happened last time? Well, things I didn't think would happen happened. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how it knew. It was completely yeah. out of my hands. Everything that happened last game was completely not in my realm of expected uh, happenings. Um, uh, we started off with the crew heading back to the Ma station. On the way there, Bobin and Soraya had a bit of a duel mm -hmm. um, in the uh, in the cargo bay, uh, where the rest of the crew, the majority of them at least, uh, took bets on who was going to win. The majority betting on Soraya winning. Uh, the captain and Soraya herself bidding on Bobin to win. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There were the captain was very disappointed in the outcome as Soraya was <laughs> able to not hand not as handily as I thought it would be. Um, oh, there you <laughs> go. He's a worthy but, opponent. He is a worthy <laughs> opponent. Yeah, yeah. But she was able to take the win from from Bobin. Um, but yeah, afterwards they. Uh, Bobin or not Bobin. Sparrow and Pursuer had a bit of a had a bit of a conversation talking about uh various things, namely Vodak Voidbreaker and how he might possibly be a 
potential ally, depending on if the coalition spun things a certain way. Uh, and this was this information was later communicated to the rest of the party as they got to the mall station where Sparrow and Pursuer both talked about Vodak Voidbreaker to them. Um, they have devised a plan where they are planning on putting ever themselves in disguises and finding a potential rupture recruiter so they could maybe get on the inside and talk to Vodak without, you know, causing any any type of fights. So, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> that's uh, I think that that's where we that's where we pick up here. I love how excited you are to get into this thing that you planned for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You worked so hard. <laughs> Definitely I worked. planned this. I... You were so re you anticipated our every move, Spencer. I really got to give it to you. Truly incredible. Yeah. Or the chess master <laughs> right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just dancing in the palm of his hand. Oh. Keep thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> Continue you to be afraid it. of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, straight, straight up. Straight up JoJo part two. The next thing you'll say is... <laughs> oh. You oh haven't been to the city, have you? <laughs> <laughs> nice. So. All right. Heck yeah. Uh, what are you guys... So you guys are... We can say that you guys have compiled a disguise for yourselves. Um, we don't have to go through the entire process of finding clothes and things Fine. like that. Um, sure. Are we on the right screen? No, not on not on stream or not. What the fuck? What the fuck? Now we are. <laughs> Hooray! Okay. <laughs> Hooray! Huzzah! I'm gonna put us on the galaxy map. Cool. 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 Okay. So, what are you guys doing? Canvassing for rupture people. Want to see if we can find some peeps that are part of rupture and would want to talk and hang out and chill and be best friends. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, as you guys are kind of scanning around the mall station, the vast majority of figures that you would see, and there's kind of just spa uh, sparingly uh, around at the place, are amoeboids. They're kind of oh. the... They are the managers of the mall stations. They, they keep it up and running, they clean it, they, you know, they keep it running. Um, and that's the kind of the vast majority of people that you would see here. There's not really any activity besides them. Uh, you occasionally see like the uh, wayward traveler um, buying supplies from the uh, from the from a general store or something. Mm -hmm. Or do we fueling. know if do we know if Rupture has like insignia or emblem or crest Ooh. or anything like that that identifies them? No. Oh, uh, did the captain not that you have a of. tattoo? The well, captain. He, he's not or, part of Rupture. He's part of another. Yeah. Group. Oh, another one. Sorry, yeah, you're right. Was it Staple? Like Sable. 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 Yeah, Sable. Thank you. Staples. Yeah. Staples. Staples. You know, he's you got a lot of fucking office stuff that we need. It's fine. Yeah. 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 The captain's yeah. a member of Home Depot. Exactly. Um. Okay. Well, uh, if we don't really see anybody that looks like they're part of Rupture, mm -hmm. uh, there's a bunch of amoeboids that repair ships, and in mm -hmm. theory, the Rupture people might have had damaged ships that they wanted repaired, and mm -hmm. this would be one yeah. of the closer Moss stations that could that could do that. True. So Hecken could ask some of the amoeboids Yay. if they've seen any Rupture people. Sure. Um, do you do you just approach a random one, or are you finding one in like the docking bay kind of thing? Yeah, probably docking bay area, like somebody mm -hmm. who'd actually maybe have worked on one of the ships, something like that. Gotcha. <laughs> just like a one of me boy that's got like a bunch of tattoos, smoking a cigarette. Like, oh yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy who knows stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you do find an enemy boy. You just pick one, or yeah. just, there are several yeah. around. Just doing work. That one. All right. <laughs> you approach them. Uh, uh hello. 
Uh, what can I what can I help you with? Hello. Um, we're looking for people from Rupture. Have you seen any people from Rupture around here? I've got no idea what Rupture is. It's like, um, it's like a big group of people that are, like, led by, uh, Vodak Voidbreaker. Yeah, Vodak, Vo Vodak Vo Voidbreaker. And, um, <laughs> He's, like, accused of piratey stuff. Piratey stuff? I think um, so. Well, I have heard of, like, pirate attacks around here. Uh, I haven't <gasps> heard about any, like, any pirates calling themselves a part of this uh, rupture, or whatever you said. Oh. Did they <laughs> say a name that they were, like, associated with, or were they just, you know, pirating? I... Uh, they didn't really say their name. They also haven't really... I haven't seen any pirates per se coming to this station. Oh. Have you repaired mm -hmm. any ships that were subject to attacks by pirates? Uh, we have, occasionally, yeah. Any recent mm -hmm. ones? Like, within the last couple like cycles? Uh, not recently, no. Actually. It's been pretty, pretty, been pretty mm -hmm. slow. You got your guys is, is the only ship that we've had to, uh, to repair in a while, actually. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. Gotcha. Where was if you if you recall when the last one was getting repaired? Do you remember like approximately where it got attacked at? Hmm. Sorry. Uh, no. Oh, that's fair. That's fine. So hmm. cool. Would would you know anyone that we could talk to that might know some of this information? Hmm. Um. I can't think of anybody actually. We don't. Hmm. Yeah. Apologies for the little help. It's okay. Help. No, it's okay. Want to vibe check this amoeboid? He could be yeah. in on it. He yeah, could be in I was on thinking it. it too. They could be in on it. Yeah, they, they could are. Be in on it. Yeah. Uh, did it do it? it? It did. I don't get to see it. You don't get to see it. Yep. Yep, we don't get to see those. Oh, uh, you're fairly confident that he doesn't know. Okay. All right. Mm. Uh, they, don't, they don't know anything. Um, okay. Okay. Mm. That's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Mm. Uh, hmm. If there's anything else I could do to try and help you with your uh, endeavors... Uh, besides, is this like where most of the pirate attack ships come into, or is there another other mall station that you know a lot of pirate attacked ships are going into? Oh, uh, not like a bigger hub. Not really. Uh, the outer mall stations are pretty barren uh, across the board. Um, there isn't. I haven't heard anything, at least uh, about any of the closer boss stations about particularly high rates of pirate attacks. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Mm hmm So there aren't any, uh, I don't know, uh, pirate organizations flying around these parts that try to make a name for themselves? Nobody's uh, that high profile? Not that I've heard of. Gotcha. There aren't any people, like, around trying to, like, recruit people to nefarious groups? <laughs> no. The only visitors mm -hmm. we get, really, are people like yourselves who uh, need to who drop by to stock up on supplies or repair their ships or something. Open, how does he know that it's us we're in disguises? I don't know. They're wily. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> They're so wily. <laughs> Okay, I, I may have another idea, guys. Okay. okay. All right. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you for your help. Yeah. Um, quick question before we go. Um, I know the uh, connection between Ma Station, so he is a little spotty. Um, are your archives up and running? Uh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> All the archives are linked together. So, anything you would find on a, you know, one of the center maw stations you should be able to find find here it might take you a little longer because connection connection's a little spotty but it shouldn't take you too much longer also uh ignore the uh the 
wild animal here. <laughs> you, might need to, you might need to take your, your space puppy out for a walk or something. I might need to do that, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Um, I'm gonna put Barry in your kennel. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I'll be right back. To your little playpen, Barry. Yes. Banishment Brr. to playpen city. Brr. 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 She's so fucking dramatic, dude. Right? I love her so much. Ignore my fellow mechanic mm -hmm. in the background over there. <laughs> Shift seems like a real piece of work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, We're gonna find these difficult. fucking guys. What the fuck? Yeah. You were probably gonna have to wait until they attack and then be like, no, we want to join your crew. No. Oh, uh, crap. Hmm. Maybe we could find some sort of like link between the ships that get attacked by rupture and yeah. see if see if there's like a through line between any of them. Go with Sparrow's Make idea. Our ship look, look more through the archives. <laughs> Hope the archives aren't incomplete. <laughs> Go the complete opposite route of instead of infiltrating, just make ourselves a bait. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck yeah, though. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, well, they obviously don't like the coalition, and if if the theory's right, then they don't like the the descendants of Obsidian. So, if only we had members of the descendants of Obsidian on our ship. Oh, wait, we do. Okay, well, Mike. if they don't like that, then, like, maybe they just like really expensive cargo, but luckily we have really expensive cargo on the ship as well. Like, <laughs> we crap, have, how do we make ourselves we such more a baby? Target. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you just tie Sparrow to the hood of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am back. All right. All right, cool. Okay. It's so long. Oh, checking the archives. Yeah. Checking the archives. Or what are you what are you looking for? Um, I guess first just um gonna search for whatever information we can find on rupture. And if there's nothing like publicly available, maybe seeing if I can uh log into the coalition's uh, info. Okay. There's nothing publicly available. Gotcha. Okay, not super surprising, but the general public has no idea who Rupture is. Um, that doesn't that make sense. sense. They're pirates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they're pirates, then the general public would have been pirated. So, like, you oh. get some, like, Yelp reviews being like, this section of space sucks. I got pirated. I didn't like it very much. Uh, I agree. I mean, in fairness, we are on the far, we are on the fringes of space. Yeah, I guess. I mean, worst case scenario, they're super vicious and they kill everybody. And it's like, this section of space sucks. My relative went missing out there. Where? Mm -hmm. People this far out, they're pretty tight knit. Like, word of that, I think would have traveled pretty quickly. Yeah. Unless the piracy stuff is fake. Yeah, that is really where this seems like it's pointing, doesn't it? I don't know, to me, maybe. It seems yeah. like it to me, at least. Let's, um, all right, give me one second. Let me see if I can dip into the corporate files. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and roll me a data check to try and uh, hack right. in. All uh, right. Okay, let me. Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> Aww. Thank you. Nice. Hell, hell yeah. Heck in. Um, how much is that? Uh, D6. D6. And I can use it after I roll, right? Mm-hmm. Blech. Nice. 22. Do you want to use it? Jesus fuck. Want to shoot for yeah. 25? Yeah. Let's 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 do that. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Coalition might be locked down pretty tight. <laughs> Damn, Jesus oh, oh. Christ. Bada boom, 27. Holy shit, 27. You okay. got a baby okay. check. This is a this is a difficult check. This would have uh, this was a higher than you rolled check. Um, oh. So, uh, breaking in to the uh, to the encrypted files of, uh, you do find a section in there in the coalition's file labeled rupture. Hey uh, there. All right. There isn't oh. much information about them. Um. One thing that you is extremely important that they have written down 
All of them are ex-coalition. Oh. All of them? Whoa. Guys, check this out. According oh. to this extremely secure file, every member of Rupture, like all of them, are ex-coalition, not just Vodak. Ooh. Oh, do you think that's where they recruit from? Yeah, it sure seems that way. I mean, they probably don't recruit then, sounds like. Because mm -hmm. if that's the case, it's probably just Vodak's crew. Like the people that were under him when he was a general or whatever. And they're just like, everybody get out, we don't like you. Oh, people who are yeah, like already loyal it. to him. Oh. Yeah, people who wouldn't have believed that he was a traitor. Yeah, so oh. now he's got to go be outside of space. Yeah. Or at least agreed with whatever his reasons were to turn traitor. Mm-hmm. Also possible, yeah. Right. We're not just pirates, but loyal fanatics. That's a uh, that's a scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if I if I dig in deeper, like they they know that all of them are members of the coalition. Mm. Who is like? Who is part of Rupture? Who is part of Rupture? Yeah. yeah. Like, are there any like members that are known? Yeah. Uh, they're all. Pretty low level uh, members of the of the coalition under general. Um, no, like standout names. Uh, it's mentioned that Vodak is the leader of Rupture. <laughs> while we're what? while we're looking through the list of names, I want to just like search MySpace for any names that of course are on that list. <laughs> and just see if anybody's got like the equivalent of like a, a fucking Twitter profile. <laughs> Oh my uh, hell yeah! No, Just Google them. They do not. That's fair. Oh, that's fair. So, oh man, he I makes would, them delete their MySpaces. That's so I, mean. <laughs> if I cross-reference some of these names, would I find that like before they left the coalition that they served under General Voidbreaker? I'm gonna need you to make another data check. Sure. Ooh. Um, another bardic inspiration. Oh okay. wow! Priest, you boy helping uh can i also take the help action not with this i think understandable that yeah. is fine mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good effort mm -hmm. right. sidebar it's sunny here now it was snowing like 10 Ooh. minutes ago yeah, i'm, I'm gonna use that bar to... wild. okay crazy because that yep. is a 14 total oh, a little better. <laughs> Three, 17, 17, 17 yeah. total with the bardic inspiration you are locked out oh Actually, no, I'm not. No. Oh. <laughs> because I literally cannot be locked out of systems. Oh. <gasps> because of my feet. Uh, can you read the exact wording? Yes. Uh, do, 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 do. Devices never lock after you attempt to hack them. Okay. Wow. All right. You're not locked out then. You just can't access the information. Oh. You sneaky mm. fuck. Look at him, sneaking. Yep, he'll so get back in able... again someday. Yeah, I should be able to try again, though, then. Those little digital toe beans make no noise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> can I Can I make another attempt here if it's not locked? If you can't be locked out, then there's no point in rolling. If you're just uh -huh. going to keep trying over and over again. Just like That's true. Equivalent. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if that yeah. is specifically how I want to rule that because there's just no mm. point in rolling. Because that also kind of devalues my feet then. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to devalue. You want to just like give yeah. like a bigger bonus to hacking then instead of that or something? Uh, like we what should it find could do, something that makes it. What yeah. you could do is you can get in, but it will take you an amount of time longer than you expected. This will take, like, hours. Gotcha. Oh. Okay. Um, I would probably relay that to the group. It's like, okay, I think I can work my way in here, but this one's going to take a lot longer. I think I might be at it for a, for a bit. Oh. Are you guys cool with waiting for this? Or? 
Maybe True. It's yeah, I mean, it seems like valuable information to have, so yeah. And what else are we mm -hmm. going to do? <laughs> mm hmm. All right. I will uh, try not to waste your time here. Well, I mean, we have the day off. Oh. It's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Just picturing the fucking sparrow going at the computer and fucking Soraya, Bobin, and Pursuer just pull out like a deck of cards. Mm hmm. <laughs> just type them like crazy. Amp next to the archive terminal. Hell yeah. Okay. So you're going to spend the several hours trying to break in? Yeah. Okay. Question about your feet. Yes. Does it say anything about, like, even though you're not locked out, they might still be able to know you're you're trying to hack in? Uh, it does not give me any particular protection against that. Okay. Uh, do you proceed knowing that they might... Like, no, you're trying to access that file. Hmm. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, shit. I'm just trying to think, like, how much do we need confirmation on this? Mm -hmm. like, what, is th what does that give us? Would they know that it's specifically you, or would they just know that someone is trying to hack it? They would know someone is trying to hack in, and from where. Okay. It so is from it, my... It wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't be, like, your ID that's given away. They would just know. Yeah, he would have had to, to log into his, uh, with his coalition ID. Oh, okay, so they might, they, they might know it, files. too. Okay, Ooh. Yeah, they might, they might know. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. So basically, just trying to confirm whether or not the guys on that list were were uh, were under Vodak Voidbreaker when they were part of the coalition. Mm -hmm. Um, how badly do we need that information? Like, does that really change anything? No. Um. Like, really it, I guess it might it might increase or decrease the likelihood that we could get recruited. Mm. But we could we could always just you know uh, be on the air on the safe side and assume like all of those guys were part of his you know crew originally. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Um So maybe I don't maybe I don't do that. Maybe maybe I'm maybe he thinks that this is a little too risky for the potential payout. Um Is there at least anything in Rupture's file about like do they have a logo? Uh mm -hmm. they do have an insignia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, I would like to make I make a note of that. Yeah. I don't have any like anything art art wise. I can give you a description though. Um, okay. It is a it is a uh, a chain that has been broken, uh, and behind that chain it is a uh, a clenched fist. Oh. oh. Sounds like it definitely looks a lot like uh, a broken version of the coalition's logo. Okay. Um. Yeah. On second thought, this might not be worth it. I think. The amount of time I'd have to be in the systems, that gives them a lot of opportunity to track me down. Mm, okay, well, if you think it's okay. it's too high risk, then yeah, we should probably stop for now. Yeah. But, um... We were, we were looking at the names before. Are there, like, a lot of them? Or is it, like, a handful of guys? There's a lot of them. Yeah? There's a uh, at least over a thousand. Cool. Over a thousand. Okay. God. Okay. So let's think about that. There's over a thousand members, and no one has heard anything about them. Mm. That does not sound like a bandit operation. Yeah. It sounds like they're keeping a low profile. Mm-hmm. 
do you think some of the members are still, like, in the Coalition? Like, they're doing stuff for Rupture, like, within the Coalition? Uh, well, the files look like all of the mem- all of the known members are ex-Coalition. Hmm. So, yeah, I don't- I don't think any of them are currently working for him. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I was, uh, I was expecting a pretty petty group of thugs, but uh -huh. thousand soldiers, that's, uh... I'm kind of out of our league. Huh. Plus, like, none of the other ones have bounties, apparently. Oh. Just a big guy's got a bounty, right? Like, you'd uh, think if there's, uh, like, a thousand of them and you were getting bounties, it's like, oh, yeah, there's, like, 80 of them that all have bounties, and you just go get them all. Uh, Was there anything about any coalition. other bounties, or...? No. No? Yeah. Might yeah, just be only... a... I mean, that that's not necessarily evidence on against it. It would just be the coalition being tight wads and wanting to focus their budget on uh, the, the lead man, you know? Mm. Cut the head off a snake, the body dies. That yeah, sort of logic. Yeah, on that. From the uh, looks of not... it, most of the other members are pretty, pretty low ranked, so they might not yeah. uh, think they're much of a concern with the, the leader. It yeah, seems it's strange, definitely... though, if they're all known ex coalition, you think the coalition be really upset about it, you know? Yeah, it's almost like only Vodak did a thing that they didn't like. Mm hmm. And then they're just like, yeah, just get him. And also, everybody else has to leave. It's still yeah. such a silly punishment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they, they didn't they didn't exile him to like the far reaches of space they tried to arrest him and he probably just escaped well then how did he get a thousand people to join him they might have been on his ship that's just a thousand weird. people I went wow it's a big ship I mean, it's like a capital ship or something like that like he was a general that is true. He might have had access to some of the largest ships in the galaxy. I just think this makes the coalition look really bad in a really funny way. <laughs> which is probably which is probably why they wouldn't want Rupture's existence to be public. If they mm. are if they are the bandits they say they are, probably don't want it known that so many defected. Rupture. Guy a guy with a ship and all of his friends has bested the entirety of the coalition and it's thousands of ships each piloted by thousands of people like <laughs> thorn beats mm -hmm. lion <laughs> yeah that doesn't look too good for him that's just funny exactly. it, it is funny it, it, <laughs> you're right it. like you're saying it's uh it's definitely possible that he's uh the void breaker is actually a potential ally but on the other hand, it could just be the coalition wanting to save face, you know, instead of uh, acknowledge a rather embarrassing uh, black mark on their record. Mm. Um, I agree that uh, that does sound like something the coalition would do, but right. that combined with the fact that nobody seems to have heard of them, like despite having such large numbers. Mm. Yeah, wouldn't you like want to brag if you just like? punked the coalition just be like i am vodak punker of the coalition join me mm -hmm. i'm cool right yeah, yeah you want to be really to... loud about it yeah for even in the best case the, for someone who Sorry. named the organization like in direct opposition to the coalition it sounds like he would be very loud about doing that mm -hmm. yeah in the in the best case for the coalition there is still definitely a conspiracy of some kind happening here mm -hmm. yeah um, I mean, like, you said that there's a bounty on Vodak. Like, is it, is it, like, bigger than normal bounties? Is it, like, standard? Like, where, where is he sitting? At Pursuer. Oh, sorry, um, what, uh... How much is would, the bounty? What would be the answer? Yeah. Yeah. Just, like, in comparison to, like, normal bounties that you've got, is he, like about the same or is he like ooh, it's, he's a fucking it's a, cash it's a, big, it's a big target uh it's okay. specifically twenty thousand credits Whoo! 
Damn. Uh, the hefty. I said a hefty boy. I had to be to get anyone, myself included, out this far in the middle of nowhere. Mm. And I'm, I'm assuming I'm assuming that's being paid out by the coalition. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so that that is a lot of money. So they they definitely see it as a problem. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, he is likely a pretty significant threat, at least in terms of like his abilities as a soldier. Like, not only was he a general, he was a war mage. Hmm. Again, question, Spencer. Yeah. Um, because we're at the place it's like the last known location of Vodak. Where where did we get that information? Was that just like what was on the bounty, like what the coalition gave pursuer? Yeah, that's, that's, that from, okay. that's no, I got that from the archives. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Like this general area where we were heading was always kinda like that's what the coalition said, like, yeah, go in this area. Yep. Okay. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna level with you. Mm -hmm. It kind of just sounds like this is a thing to keep them out of their hair. Because, like, if you put a big bounty on somebody, it means they can't show up in town. That is fair. It's kind of just like a, another level of go away. Because, uh, like, isn't a just ship a, big wait, enough wait. to put... Like, isn't a ship big enough to have a thousand people on it worth way more than 20,000 credits? Well, that's a point. Oh, yeah. Just to uh, clarify with Spencer, mm -hmm. this wasn't, like, a big public bounty they put out there. Like, they contracted me specifically? They have several contracts out, um, like, to specific bounty hunters, but you were one of them. You got it through, like, the Elven government. Yeah, so this mm -hmm. wasn't, like, a... This wasn't like a posted board thing. Like they were specifically like, we want Pursuer to take care of this, so that yeah. wouldn't necessarily. Okay. Make they sense. want so they, they were they're a little bit secret about like, it. Like yeah, they wanted extremely successful bounty hunters to go after them. Like you weren't the only one who retrieved yeah. this contract, but you yeah, were one this, of the ones who were like, this guy could probably, you know, uh, with his this, reputation, this probably handle. Uh, okay. Yeah. This. Uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah, it's a good idea, Bowen, but uh, not that kind of bounty. This. Uh, this wasn't some open forum Mike Knight, uh, you know, just let anyone take their shot at him. I wanted a pro to bring this man in. That's fair. Mm. Definitely makes it sound like they uh, they want this dealt with quietly. Although I feel like for someone like Vodak, it's not going to be hard to figure out if there's a bounty out on you. So it might Bear. just make them even more elusive and harder to find. Yeah. Well, he has cut off from the coalition, and he is on the outskirts of space. Possible, he. It's possible he would just assume he has the credit. You know, he has the bounty, but doesn't know anyone's necessarily coming for him right now. Hmm. How long ago did you uh, get the bounty? Or like, were you assigned uh, the mission? Right did before the I got on the ship, I assume, right, Spence? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So like pretty, pretty recent development. Okay. Hmm. It might still be early enough in the hunt that he doesn't know that there's a bounty on him, but you know. Hmm. Could be. Yeah. Either way, I said we'd go poke around, see if we could find him. Got about all the info hmm. we can get, otherwise it's we're just true. guessing. Yeah. I feel like that's all we're doing. Like, nobody really was able to help us, and we got all we can get out of the archives. I'm not even really sure where to start trying to get more information, Bulbin. Yeah, I feel like we just go and ask. Go poke around, see if we can find him, be like, hey, I think I have a theory about your whole backstory and life and why they told you to leave once or twice. That is a point. If we ask basically everybody, being like, hey, have you seen Vodak? Vodak's probably going to get word that we're looking for Vodak and then come and find us and be like, why are you looking for me? And we'll be like, ha-ha! Gotcha. So that's another plan. Yeah. <laughs> and then we spring our trap of friendship. Exactly. 
Oh my god. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's uh? Yeah. You, we we got about everything. Uh, we're gonna get around here. I guess we uh head back and ship out. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, about all we can do here. Sounds good to me. You guys head uh, head back to the ship and just wait until the 24 hours are up. Yeah, yeah just chill, chill. out. Mm-hmm. Watch some more westerns. Yeah. 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 You could I might finish the one we play. started. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't have to role play it, but I might mm-hmm. ask uh, one of the amoeboids uh, sh- with that uh, further context, like, have you seen any coalition members around here? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, they would tell you no. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Not recently, at least. Right here. Okay. So. A day passes. Go ahead and long rest yourselves in case you need it. Hold it. Oh, just in case, but I don't think I have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah okay. I think I got all my stuff back, but yeah. Oh, no, I get an extra heckin' energy die back. Let's fucking go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Sidebar, I enjoy that with the new character sheets. The bit that uh, tells me my AC looks like it's got little kitty ears. <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw that. I thought the same thing. On I have the same sheet, so I was like, "It's a cat." That's funny. My armor cat, my AC. Oh yeah, I guess it does. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Uh, <laughs> very cool. So, your guys' ship is fully repaired. You guys have fifty, uh, fifty out of fifty mega hit points. The umbilicus is completely repaired. Um, oh, thank God. You see the branch is, you, we're not, he's not going to role play this, but you see branch is dealing with the, like the handing them the credits and everything. Um, you guys are ready to head out. Uh, all right, everyone. We seem to have our, be- all our uh, things in order. Does anyone have any unfinished business that they can accomplish within the next checks? Watch. Ten minutes. Um, on the station. I don't believe so. Oh, oh good, I think I got it. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, good to go, it's sir. Good. Everyone, yeah. get in positions. Okay. All right. You guys do so. And Sewer in his regular clothes, no longer with his disguise over his face. Mm-hmm. I'm keeping uh, my disguise in case we need it again. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Just in I'm, case. I'm, I'm put, I'm. I'm definitely gonna have like this guy's off in like a pocket or something, but like mm-hmm. it's just like this is weird. I just I don't like the eyebrows. What the hell? <laughs> Not a fan of this mustache on mustache situation. <laughs> <laughs> so, this next section of the game is going to be um, a bit of downtime, as you guys will oh. be uh, scanning planets. Um, oh, you guys are we spending about? Uh, two weeks searching, uh, searching for planets and scanning them. Wow. So, is there anything you guys want to do as you go through this downtime? Hmm. You have two weeks of just being on the ship and, uh, occasionally getting to your stations, but nothing really bothering you. Yeah, a, a stupid thing that we don't need to do. I want to do close quarters combat with Bobin in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we hmm. probably like elbow Sparrow. Like you should, you should maybe talk to Elyon about stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that, uh, that, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I, I, I may as well. Huh. Okay. Should Should we go to like a different room? Should we not watch you do this? We could close combat some more in the bathroom again. Yeah, yeah, we'll go do that. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be back. In the bed? It's the smallest room on the ship. Yeah. It's the best for close very... quarters combat. He needs training in it. Look how big he yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. How am I going to squeeze oh. into a tiny little spot and then go like, oh. Exactly. There's okay. too much um, of me, Sparrow. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't really require that particular room, but for the benefit of the rest of the crew, whatever you're doing there, please don't break it. We'll do our best. 
So. All right. Yeah, go find Alia. Okay. She's just, uh, she's in the living quarters, hanging down on the couch, playing a game on her, on her data pad. Good day, Lieutenant. Yeah, good day. Um, could I perhaps have a, a word with you in uh, private? <sighs> yeah, I guess. She just <laughs> rips herself away from her tablet. <laughs> God damn. Mm hmm. Uh, cargo hold, I guess. Sure, that works. As All long right. as it's not the bathroom. <laughs> Why, what's happening fine. in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Some, uh, close quarters coming <laughs> in and I'm <laughs> hmm. But I'm starting to have my doubts. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys head off to the cargo hold. All right, what do you want? All right, um, just thought I should let you know. I uh, have spoken to some of the crew about what we talked about the other day. She, she before had this expression of like, okay, what are you gonna bother me with today? And then her stance kind of straightens and she looks a little worried. Um, and what did they say? Well, um, get you can relax for one thing. They're not planning to, you know, shank you in the shower or something. They are. Mm. They have their suspicions and reservations, but I think we're all on the same page that if it is possible to come to some sort of amicable, amicable relationship here, that that would be in the best interest of all of us. Okay. Uh, great. But, um, we are all firmly in the camp of taking down the descendants. That's not, mm. that's not going to change. And I just need to make sure that's clear. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I, sure, yeah, I guess. I'm not beholden to them at least like I said before I like what they're you know what they stand for at least the making magic less prevalent but you know I at this point I think I believe you about what they did to you so I appreciate that I'm not, um, I'm not about that that's good. That is very good. Um, did, did anyone ever happen to, I don't know, tell you what kind of steps they were going to take to make magic less prevalent? Not really. I assumed that they had, you know, they were to do something. Uh, I was just the girl on the ground, you know? What kind of things did they have you doing? Besides, you know, bodyguard duty. Not much. Uh, this is one of my first missions, actually. Hmm. Still pretty green, then. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is not how I expected things to go running into a member. He said but, that before. Yeah. Yeah. Still kind of getting my bearings, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. But, uh... I... I hope you decide to leave. Because... Even if they're on the up and up about wanting to make magic less prevalent. I really don't think they want to do that for any good reason. How do you feel about magic? I mean, it's a useful tool. I, I don't really have any great love or hate for it. It, um, 
it keeps me employed, but yeah, it's just like anything else to me, I suppose. If you lived in a world where it was less prevalent, do you think it would hurt? Do you think it would bother you? I mean, I think a lot of things would be pretty messed up if that were to happen. I mean, pretty much all of the technology in the verse would just stop working. And I feel like that would cause like a, well, like an apocalypse. Mm. Society would disintegrate overnight. Like if, even if, if you wanted to accomplish something like that, make magic less prevalent, that's not something you can do, like, just with a snap of the finger. That would take generations. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> okay. I just... I don't like the way things are. And nobody wants to do anything about it except for them. Not that I want to keep working with them. But they're the only ones doing anything. I can sympathize a little bit. Hmm. I... I don't, I don't really have a great love for the way the elves do things either. My, uh, my old captain was, a uh, was an unhoused elf. And, uh, he, it was more of a, a, tr a, a conscious choice for him. He bailed before his rate of naming. Hmm. He didn't want that kind of baggage. He wanted his, his freedom to choose it, it, it makes sense I'm I'm sorry that they kind of just wrote your ticket for you from birth that's not fair yeah I I was wondering about that actually you said you don't have magic in, in, in what way? Because in theory, anyone could learn how to use one form of magic or another, like a, like a wizard. But like, how did, how did they gauge that? Uh, the elves just have ways of discerning like what you'll be capable of throughout your entire life. Uh, they look for basically a spark of any kind. They acknowledge that people can learn magic, but you still have to have some talent for it. Gotcha. So it was more a matter of, uh, th they didn't believe you'd have any kind of an aptitude for it. Yeah. Have you ever actually, like, tried to learn magic? <laughs> I did. And they were right. I tried to learn it out of spite. I get that. Yeah. Spite is a powerful motivator. Not powerful enough, unfortunately. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of uh, difficulties did you run into? I just... Nothing was working. Like, I'd read the books, I'd study, I even... Bought those stupid, you know, baby's first spell books, spell, you know, magic for dummies books. Oh, God, those things are terrible. Yeah. They're so condescending. I know. Ugh. What are y'all doing? Yeah. Don't worry Don't about, about it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Seeing how broken this fucking bathroom is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. For context, they're rolling dice, and <laughs> it shows up yeah. in the chat as like privately rolled some dice. Yeah, yeah. So I, I yeah. guess. Seen a bunch we, of question yeah, we know marks. What's up. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't uh, worry about it. Goddamn. <laughs>
Okay, back in it. Huh. Back in. But yeah, it, it just nothing was working. So I guess they were right. Not that I'm too bothered mm. by it. I've gotten on fine without the ability to cast magic, at least. Hey, I mean, you, you seem to right for yourself. Joining an evil cult, notwithstanding. That's not my greatest moment, no. But, um... I, I, I want to do an insight check when she says it doesn't really bother her too much. Sure. Ooh. Go ahead. Uh, tr tr you get the feeling that it does bother her. Like, she's just putting up, you know, a strong front. But she she's worked a, a lot like in her life, like she, you can tell she's put a lot of work into trying to figure this shit out. And nothing came of it. And it fucking mm. stings. It might, it stings for the re of the, uh, not that the, she can't cast magic. It stings in the fact that she, they were right. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Mm-hmm. It's, it's more about the, just like, I don't want them to be right. Like, I don't like that they just decided this at birth and mm -hmm. turns out they were just right on the money. Yep. Yeah. I think he's gonna kind of just look at her silently for a second. Like, this, this might be stupid and feel free to tell me if it's stupid, but like, What if I tried to teach you a cantrip or two? <laughs> I, I I know you've you've tried a lot, and like I I went through a lot of the same training. Um, maybe a little bit different since war mages are pretty specialized, but I, I hit the books pretty hard, and I got some idea of their training methods, what I thought worked for me, and what I thought was just kind of not super effective I, I feel like I might be able to I don't know come at it from a different angle uh roll me a persuasion check sure do, 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 do. I'm not great at that I have a plus one mm -hmm. oh, I believe in you you got this Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Oh, yeah. Fifteen total. That have been a lot worse. That's that's not terrible. She looks at you. It's a good thing you passed this check. Um oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's scary. Um yep. just scary, sorry. Oh she scary. looks at you. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> she looks at you. Get, looks you up and down, like trying to assess you, like you're not pulling my leg. Like, you're not just making fun of me, right? No, I mean, you don't gotta make a big deal of it or anything, but, like, I know a thing or two about wanting to prove your family wrong. And I feel like maybe I could help you out. And I mean, it's it's purely selfish self-interest. I mean, like if you hate magic less, then you won't be with the descendants anymore. So like, that's that's really all it is, okay? Don't make a big thing of it. Um, I, not that at all. If you want to waste your own time trying to teach me how to cast a can trip. If you want to waste your time teaching me something that can't be done. Sure. I'm I'm down. 
Oh, I think it can be done. You underestimate just how stubborn Sparrow on the wind is. Mr. Fister himself. Hey, that's Professor Fister to you now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, Professor Fister. I didn't <laughs> didn't mean to, you know, upset you in that way. That's right. I got tenure now. Yeah, do you? <laughs> Indeed. So, uh, d yeah, um, <clears throat> we'll have plenty of spare time, you know, while we're on this mission. So, yeah, whenever you have a free moment, just, uh, hit me up and I will make a lesson plan. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'll, I'll make sure to do that. Cool. Good. Sounds good. Excellent. Uh, mm. Great. And That's she... uh, stupendous. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Um, cool. Yep. Thank God. Yeah. And she wanders off. <laughs> Izzy. Yeah. Are you gonna fall in love with a cute little NPC girl again? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the slander. <laughs> I can't Are you believe. Kidding? This character just because, assassination. <laughs> just because I 100% pictured Sparrow doing awkward finger guns as she left. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Dude, up. I don't blame you. She's fucking adorable, but... <laughs> <laughs> it a magic. Don't read shit into it. Uh -huh. Are you going to teach her how to make sparks fly? <laughs> no, <laughs> You like Galeon, don't you, Sparrow? God fucking damn it, no. That's not what this is about. This is tactical. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Are we gonna do an enemies to lovers? Oh ah! my god. <laughs> Let's go, bitch! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 mm -hmm, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Speaking from fucking experience, last campaign, it's incredible as you do it. <laughs> like, <fucking> mm. <laughs> <laughs> good time, good time. Crazy. Good, good time. <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. So I think I know what Sparrow's doing in his downtime. Um, yeah. What about uh what about you, Pursuer? Are you doing anything? Over the next couple weeks? Um, watching movies, cleaning my guns, mm -hmm. just, uh, sort of mulling over everything we've learned about Vodak and mm -hmm. what I can do with that info, if anything. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can probably, uh, in downtime, want to, like, meditate try and get in touch with the flow okay see if i could sense any whereabouts of a boy i don't want to try to like of a fucking, boy particular boy like maybe vodak but i don't okay. want to like fucking like do that search too far mm -hmm. like i don't want to like overdo it like when i was trying to talk to tilly okay yeah just kind of okay. casual see if the flow kind of guide me in a way mm -hmm. to where he could possibly be. Gotcha. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobin, are you doing anything? Yeah. Um... <laughs> the noms of thinking. Uh, yes. I, I love your little mind. noms of yeah. <laughs> your deep thoughts. Like, mm -hmm. Give me my shit <laughs> your thoughts. <laughs> tasty, tasty brain thoughts. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I can, I don't know, probably just getting to know members of the ship, and mm -hmm. I also want to, yeah. like, talk to Aelion, want to talk to our Nautilid buddy, want to talk <laughs> to our <laughs> Dragonborn bud, just, like, get to know them a little better. You looking for yeah. any specific in, uh, information, or just... Friendship. Uh, yeah, just, like, friendship and stuff yeah, about their life and just, like, things that they've got going on and how they feel okay. about stuff. 
things. Feel like, things. feel like Bobin and our Nautilid bud would definitely get along a lot. Mm -hmm. Not having a home world and like heckin'. Yeah. You got a lot of, got a lot of lines on stuff. I feel I like, think it was yeah. just particularly I'd probably want to role play out the uh, talk with like Aelion. Okay. I think of those probably most Hell of yeah. them. Sure, I'll I'll give you some information that you would find out about uh, some of the other crew members. Um, <gasps> All right. Heck yeah. Uh, Branchia, he is. Let me pull up his his little thing here. Um, I spelled the word wrong in my little notes about him. That's funny. No. Uh, you know that he was uh he was appointed by the Nautilid government uh themselves to crew to like be in charge of this mission here so he has a lot of experience in like uh a lot of the knowledge that you would need to find like a planet so, like he's got a he's very smart in like geology he's got a lot of equipment that would help him scan uh materials that you guys would find um he is but he's very humble about the fact that, like, he is extremely qualified for this job. Oh. Uh, he's mm. constantly just like, "Oh no, I'm not that good." Like, um, he oh. said lying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you would also know that he is over a hundred years old. Oh. Um, he was, I believe, he was there. Uh when Poseidon was still around. Yeah, deal. Mm-hmm. And the thing with Poseidon is that the sun went, like, crazy and, like, boiled up all their oceans and shit, right? There was, like, yes. a solar event that caused their chemicals and their water to stop functioning. Yeah. And, the like, life-saving like it needed to be. Yeah, it got, it got abnormally, like, hot. Like, it fucking exploded, yeah. almost. Uh, and... Hard. Destroyed the planet entirely. Whew. All right, fair. God. Um. Yeah, so that's fair. Yep. Uh, thing about Galanel, you would find out. Um, like it, uh, you found out earlier, he would have some war stories for you. Uh, if you asked about them, um, he was he was in the thick of it. Like he was on the front lines as a medic for the for the Dragonborn. Uh, on their planet. Um, Goodness. All, all of his, like, grafted parts, like his arm and his tail and his eyes, were all injuries that he sustained from uh, the fight against dragons. Um, he also has a, a, a partner. Uh, he would tell you Ooh. about... His name is uh, Deguaron. Um, he... Uh, again, he would describe his husband as very humble, but he is the galaxy's best weaponsmith. Oh, oh. shit. Mm -hmm. Deep. Yeah. So Wild. Uh, he even offers, like, hey, if you need, like, a weapon or something made, like, he can maybe convince his husband to... Oh, my God. Uh, maybe make something. Oh, that's such a huge offer. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Bobbin's, oh, Bobbin's a very huge. charismatic guy. He would he would definitely make friends very uh very well with these people, so I think Heck yeah. yeah. Um oh. Yeah. Uh if you were to interact with uh Captain Steel, he would yeah. uh Um he wouldn't really go into too many details about his past. Um mm -hmm. like like he like he said before, he was he was a member of Sable before. Mm -hmm. Uh he wouldn't I don't think he would name them. Uh like he's like, yeah, I just was poor, part of this organization. We used to do bad stuff. But mm -hmm. They, yeah, uh, Bobin would definitely relate mm -hmm. to that a lot, having mm -hmm. been part of the War Horde for as mm -hmm. long as he's been part of it, and yep. like all that. We'd we'd have a lot to talk about with that. Mm -hmm. uh, he would also mention he was uh, uh, he was a pilot uh, before. Mm -hmm. Like he was a he was a very good pilot, at least in his words. Um, <laughs> oh, I believe. 
Yeah. But uh, he was able to get out of his situation, and then he bought a ship, and then he joined Astrogation Incorporated. Nice. Yep. That's just what, he was, what he's been doing since, according to him. Neat. I believe it implicitly. Fair. Uh, he seems like a fine, upstanding gentleman. I'm sure. As far as Aelion goes, uh, you wanted to roleplay that, so we can do that. Yay. Heck yeah. All right. uh, Sparrow told us all that he told Aelion about that, and she was cool with us knowing stuff about her, right? Yeah. I assume. Okay, cool. I figured. I mean, two weeks, I'm sure it came up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured. Uh, so just at some point when we're in like a common area or something, mm -hmm. just be like, hey, so... Uh, who had mentioned that he told you that he told us about your stuff with the thing in the group and whatnot? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, I was just curious, kind of, how you fell in with them. Uh, they approached me, actually. Hmm. Um, I was, I had not just joined the coalition, but I, I spent a couple, um, a little bit in there a couple years uh got to where i was um and then they approached me basically you know i think they picked up on the fact that i don't like magic uh and aren't capable of using it but they approached me with their pitch i guess and i thought that was appealing so i joined so, like, with that, you were just, like, doing your stuff in the Coalition, and then, like, some guys just showed up and was like, hey, we know you hate magic. You want to you wanna saddle up with us and do some other cool stuff? Pretty much, yeah. Hmm. So, like, it wasn't, like, some clandestine thing. You just, like, they just showed up and just like, hey, we're the people who don't like magic, too. Yeah, they were pretty friendly about it like mm. not uh, it didn't they didn't give off cult vibes you know yeah i mean for i mean cults typically don't till you're in them you know yeah yeah that's true yeah, yeah. like so what's what's their like pitch because they want to like replace magic with technology or whatever have they ever talked about like what the verse is going to look like when they do that? Pretty much, they want to replace everything that is powered by magic with some version of high tech. Like, hmm. uh, like how we, you know, void jump or something. They wanted to be able to accomplish hmm. that through technology or uh, like do what the Maw stations do, but with technology, you know? Neat. So they want to provide, like, an alternative to the thing, or they want to, like, replace all of the thing? Uh, I think... I guess it would start out as a, re you know, a replacement until they are confident enough where they can convince the common man who doesn't have magic, like, hey, you can do just as much as these casters can with, you know, uh, without magic. So it's never seemed like a thing that they run to like really push it on anybody, right? Like the elves, don't they have like ships made out of trees and stuff like that? From what I've heard, yeah. Yeah, so like that's not gonna be replaced with technology, like right? Like do you think the elves are gonna wanna just be like, Oh yeah, we want we don't like our tree ships anymore. We want the metal ones. Uh I guess not. Maybe they mm. maybe they still make their tree and their ships out of trees, they just replace and all the mechanical bits inside? I'm not sure. It might be. Do you think that they'd have, like, a problem with anybody that kept using magic? They didn't give off that impression. But, mm. you know, uh, I wasn't high enough in their organization to really know what their actual plans would be. Because, according to Sparrow, they're willing to do some crazy stuff to get what they truly want. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard very good things about them. Yeah. 
So I was just kind of curious what it seemed like from the outside before you heard any bad stuff about them. It's like, you know, I've been, been a part of organizations that seemed real cool for a good while till they uh, seemed a little less so when I heard more information. Yeah. Um, yeah. what, uh, feel free to not answer this if you're not, if you don't want to, but what were you doing before? Uh, well, before I was, um, I was in the War Horde. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I was, uh, been on a bunch of ships, met a bunch of people, and, uh, was a dogfighter for a little while, was a pilot for a little bit, did a little bit of, you know, engineering stuff, and ship maintenance and all that and mm -hmm. you know, i met a lot of people who you know weren't so behind the scenes and were more frontline and you know in orc culture there's a whole lot of uh, you know we're the best we're the good guys like everybody else is attacking us and we're you know stopping them you know everybody's got a got a story about the lakshay attacking and killing their friends everybody's got a story about how they lost good people and it kind of turned into a whole thing of we're defending ourselves from them by expanding out into their space and, uh, you know, attacking their places. And there was a whole thing of like, you know, when we get to a planet that's not part of the War Horde, we land and we're like, join the War Horde or get out. And everybody's told like that that's way nicer than how Lakshay does it because Lakshay just wants humans. Mm -hmm. So they don't let anybody else in. Um, and, you know, there's a whole lot of talk around the War Horde about how much nicer we are and how much more merciful we are and how accommodating we are and how we're trying to spread that to everybody with our stuff. And, you know, I bought into that pretty big for a while. My family was all in there, too. So I really thought a lot of, uh, a lot of that message was right for a really long time. And then I started actually getting out there and talking to more people and met people on more stations and got their perspectives of it, that the War Horde were employing monsters of the night that would just abduct you from your bed and how, like, we would just go on savage rampages, killing everything in our wake and would just glass planets on a whim and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, it was a really scary kind of image that we were getting. And, you know, we, we thought we were doing good. We were told we were doing good. A lot of War Horde people think they're doing good still. But, uh, you know, you get the other side of it. And what, what the War Horde did isn't exactly without casualty. Yeah. So, uh, you know, everybody's everybody's a hero in their own story kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Very, you know, two sides to every story kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Propaganda's I, wild. Yeah. I've always been told like as an elf that well y the war the war horde and the lakshay are two of the biggest threats in the galaxy yeah yeah if I'd, they, I'd say they probably are if they if wanted they, to be yeah i've been told that if they stop fighting for whatever reason the rest of the galaxy will pay for it hmm. so well, I mean, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a power vacuum thing. If the two big guys that are throwing all their arcane warheads at each other stop doing that, and suddenly there's this big area of space that nobody's fighting in, and there's all these planets and whatever, soon enough the Avi Ra or somebody else would want to come in and be like, "Oh, that's all ours now," and then there'd be more fighting and. Yeah. You know, they're already fighting the elves, and elves are fighting them and trying to defend their stuff. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think it'd be more of the same unless we really changed how the universe wanted to perceive things overall and how we wanted to approach life and everything, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah. So, but yeah. I, you know, I just wanted to hear more from your side. Like, obviously, the people who came to you from the Descendants were personable and nice, and, you know, they didn't say anything too crazy about their stuff, and they, they got you involved. Yeah. So, we're, I guess we've got similar stories. Yeah. 
do you, I mean, I know you heard some stuff from Sparrow, but like, how do you feel about him now? Not great. That's for sure. Like, yeah. like I told him, I don't like the things that magic has done to especially the elven culture. I don't know if he told you my story, um, but I was booted, essentially, by my family from the Elven Empire because I don't have magic. And I've just been getting by since then. So... It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me that, like, you know, why would you want to do that? There's going to be people, like, everybody plays important roles in the growth of a society. Like, you know, you don't have to have magic to make a difference. <laughs> my my family is, they've all been, like, part of House Malafiel. They're, they're the, uh, the super magic one. They, <laughs> so... Me not having a magic, I guess it rubbed them the wrong way. Would have damaged their rep, I guess. Hmm. Huh. So. Yeah. Interesting. Well, In I've got a, I've got a, I've got a brother. His name's Robin, and he's like an accountant. And we didn't, you know, he's weird, but like, you know, we don't hate him. He's just a weird guy. Yeah. Well, I guess your family's more accepting than mine. I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Mm. I haven't talked to them too much since I stopped being in the war horde, so I don't know how they're going to feel about that. Maybe I'm going to be the weird one now. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't think you're that weird. Well, you'd be one of the first. <laughs> Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? No, I guess that's it. If you do decide you want to formally leave the descendants of Oblivion, uh, what's her name? The descendants? Uh, of Obsidian. Obsidian. Where'd they get that name? I don't know, actually. Huh. It's just one of those weird things. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's fair. If you ever do decide you want to leave them, though... Uh, just, you know, we got your back, and if they're ever weird about it, we'll punch them. When you say, we've got your back, she gets this look of, like, I've never heard that before. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a look of shock, almost, like a, I don't think he's lying. <laughs> Like, Oban, like, checks behind him if there's, like, a bug or something. Is there a thing? Uh, uh, no, no, um... You're, you're not lying, right? About... No? Why would I lie? It's just, it's just a weird thing to lie about. It's like, we got your back, and then you run in there, and you're like, fuck you guys, and then they start shooting, and we're like, ah. Like, what, what do we gain from that? It's just weird. <sighs> a good question. What would you gain from that? Um. Uh, <sighs> shakes her head. Thanks, Bobin. Um. Yeah. You're you're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. Got him. <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> hey. Um. All right. I'm gonna I mean, get back no to my game. Anything. I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna cook some food later. Great. I'll Ooh. partake. And uh, she goes back to her to her game. Uh, Bobin just, you're my friend. Now we're having soft tacos later. Yay! Hell, Hell yeah! Soft tacos. Bitch. Let's go. Fuck yeah! Soft tacos. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Is he? Is he better watch out? He's moving in on your territory. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What territory? There's nothing there. Uh, <laughs> okay. A likely story. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are projected. Mm-hmm. 
Or... <laughs> Whatever you fucking say, bitch. <laughs> okay. So, over the next couple of weeks, uh, you guys have been uh, going from star to star, planet to planet, scanning each of them to see if there is anything viable for a uh, for a planet that could be equivalent to Poseidon for the Nautilids. Um, the scan process, uh, if y'all are curious, I can read that for you. Um, <laughs> planetary scanning. Okay. Uh, let's see. While, um, while someone is in the captain role of a ship, which for the purposes of this, uh, the captain will be in charge of this uh this and captain steel will be in charge of this um makes sense with functional sensors which it does uh you can spend one hour to conduct an in-depth scan of a planet within your sensors range to learn its basic geography and composition if you spend eight hours conducting a scan you may also learn any of the uh, planet's major environmental hazards, such as a high gravity, a poisonous atmosphere, or uh, volcanic activity. If you spend 24 hours conducting a planetary scan, you can also learn whether the planet's surface is inhabited. What uh, general level of a technology said inhabitants ha seem to possess uh, by detecting like the presence of bronze, iron, steel, uranium, etc., uh, and mm. its weather patterns over the next 24 hours. Oh. Uh, let's see. Occasionally, um, yeah, occasionally one or more of a planet's traits may prevent you from learning about it. For example, a thick, cloudy atmosphere may prevent you from examining the planet's geography or learning about uh, any inhabitants, or a strong uh, arcano magnetic field might disrupt the scan entirely. If your ship is equipped with a probe, which this ship is, uh, you can plunge it into the planet's atmosphere to get a closer look, potentially circumventing obstacles which prevent you from learning about them, uh, learning about the planet. Doing so allows you to gain a full 24-hour scan of the planet in one hour, but destroys the probe in the process. Um... Information gained from planetary scans are stored on your ship's computer and can be later sold to interested parties, such as Astrogations Incorporated. Um, such payment is usually based on the planet's tier of habit uh, habitability, with superior planets at lower tiers uh, uh, paying best, and special bonuses are rare fine uh, for rare finds, such as Tier X worlds. So yeah. That's how the process goes. Uh, Neat. Yeah. You guys cool, have been cool. going going around planet to planet doing scans uh, of each of them. Um, generally keeping to the one hour scan, usually. Uh, if a planet is like pretty, if it doesn't have like any sort of water or anything on it. If it does have water, you guys spend eight hours trying to find out like what's in the water essentially uh yeah. to see if it is viable for it um but yeah if the next like the weeks have found basically nothing um nothing that would qualify for the uh potential planet but that was to be expected this is going to be a very difficult search um but yeah uh, does anyone have anything to do before we get to an event that happens? Oh, so, I, that that sounds ominous as hell. We have to think of a million things we can yeah, do so we never get to <laughs> an event. The event. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fuck that. The incident. Yeah. <laughs> no! Uh, I guess, yeah, if Aeolian uh, wants to try and learn to do a cantrip, I would, I, I would do that. She, Mama. yeah, she is, uh, she would have hit you up, uh, about that. I feel like over the, like, two weeks, we all would have been, like, separately trying to befriend Alien. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. it's just kind of what's happening. We're all mm -hmm. fucking hitting her individually. Like, friendship? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it a 
portion of friendship, I... maybe? Maybe a little bit of friendship? A little bit of sample? Or... Perhaps a smidge of sugar? Sewer... Or Sewer might have a potentially different conversation with her. Okay. Ooh, all right, let's go. Enemy ship? Want to be enemies? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Ooh. Uh, we can have that. Do you want to role play that? Yeah. Um, sure, yeah. Can, can oh. give that a shot. I was, I was talking to Pursuer. Um, yeah, oh, gotcha. so many people want to do so much with Alien. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um,. Do you want to uh, do you want to pursue this uh, line of dialogue, pursue? Yeah, just near nearing the end of the two weeks, just kind of uh, like sitting on it, and pursuer finally like finds her at some point on the ship by herself, and like you know, approaches her. Oh, hey, Leon. Um, I have a couple. Questions I'd like to have clarified. Sure. I understand about your history and your uh, reasons for joining the Descendants. Mm -hmm. What I'm curious is um, disappointment, that anger that drove you to join them. Does that stop at magic? What do you mean? What are you, um... Perfect society. Perfect world. You get to make the rules. What do you do with the rest of elven society? I don't want to kill anybody. Um... I guess... Wasn't quite the question. <laughs> yeah, um... Well, I guess I just want, I don't know. I don't want anybody to die. That's the, that's a big thing about this. I just don't want what happened to me to happen to other people. You know? The, uh, I, I'm not planning on hunting down my family. Or anything like that. All right. The, I guess my um, vision of what I wanted to happen was, I don't know, this, all this magic stuff, I don't know, kind of goes on the back burner. Where people can do what these amazing things that magic can do without the need of magic. Like how Soraya does. Kind of. Right. Well. Okay. I just wanted to clarify. You know, you, uh, you seem like a decent enough gal. Want to, uh, want to shoot straight on that. Just as long as your intentions are to change Elven society for the better and not burn it to the ground. Because, uh, Oh, yeah, no, I... I don't know if you've realized that, uh... I owe something of a debt. Yeah? Uh... You're... We have been betting a lot on the ship. With the how... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, uh, no, that... Captain Steel has that kind of debt, not me. <laughs> um... No, I mean... You're on the outs... Obvious reasons, with elven nobles, and uh, I'm certainly on their side in many situations, because they came to my aid when I needed them. Seems oh. uh, that inappropriate to not return the favor. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. fair. As long as you're not an enemy of my friends, consider me a friend of yours. <laughs> Will do. Just wanted to make that clear and sort of flashes his coat aside to, like, you know, bring focus to his holster. Mm hmm. If that changes, 
we don't have another conversation. Yeah. Thanks. I'll, uh... <laughs> I'll make sure to not burn Elven society to the ground. No matter how much they... Some, some of them deserve it. Well, I feel like some in every society deserve it. That's a, <laughs> a whole other conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Right. As long as we understand each other. Yep. You have yourself a, a lovely night, and uh, I'll see you. I'll see you at the table. Um, I, will, I can't. I can't wait to see what uh, wonderful, wonderful food the, the rest of you get to taste. <laughs> oh, I heard it's soft tacos night. <laughs> Hell yeah! This is the same day. <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday. Oh man! Ah. It's always Taco Tuesday. <laughs> uh, Hard to keep track of that sort of thing in space. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, tip of the hat and on his way. Okay. Um, at the end of the of this downtime here you guys come across a planet um a uh, specific system that has been logged the uh canera system um they've or they've registered the star itself that but they haven't done any like scans about what the planet looks like or what it is um but yeah, it is a uh, it is a white dwarf star, uh, and there are two or there's a planet and a moon, uh, the moon surrounding the uh, the planet uh, in this system. The planet itself is completely covered in clouds, uh, unable to be like the ground is completely unable to be seen. Um. The, uh, and then fucking steel, uh, over the intercom says, All right, this one's going to be a long one. And he, he says, uh, eh, fucking can't think right now. Oh my God. Um, we got this. Yeah. He says, We're nearing the end of stream. It's, it's understandable. It's the, the, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, this one's going to be a long one. Get strapped it. Uh, oh god. Uh, <laughs> he gets cut off. Those uh, those of you next to windows uh, would see there are ships approaching from the planet below. Oh. Oh. Uh, fighters, specifically oh. like dog fighters. Oh. oh. Um. Uh, Sparrow. You would recognize yeah. these to be like coalition ships. Like, uh, but they do not look, uh, they are, they are painted over, essentially. Oh, oh. <laughs> do they have an insignia? <laughs> they do. Mm. Of a broken chain with a fist behind. Dude, I was waiting for you to say completely different one. <laughs> Who the fuck are these wait, guys? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what the fuck? Mr. Fist. <laughs> Mr. Fister finds his flying friends. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the title of this episode. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, and they, there are several of these of these ships. Uh, five in total. Uh, completely like oh. sort of, uh, in a sort of pincer position, uh, around you. And you are you are being hailed. Uh, they oh. they want to talk. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh. Really? Okay. Um. The captain hits the button. A projected image of a woman with uh dark skin, like dark brown skin. Um. Very like uh, her hair like tied up in a ponytail, uh, in what appears to be rugged looking clothes. Not super rugged, but like a almost a modified version of the clothes that that Sparrow was wearing. Oh. 
Okay. She says, mm-hmm. You've wandered into a hostile space. I suggest you leave. Please. Look into the captain. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would like to not leave. I need to scan that planet down below. As you can see, uh, he presses some buttons on the on the console. We are part of Astrogations Incorporated. We have no wish to harm any of you. We just want to scan the planet below. Uh, sorry, can't do that. Um, as you can see, we're, uh, well, we are threatening you. Please leave. Tell me to threaten me. Hmm. Are we on camera? That's what I was going to ask. You can be if you want. I would like to be. That'd be nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I wave. (laughs) Do they they see that, you know, I'm wearing a coalition uniform? They would. Uh, They would be able to see that. Do you still want to be on camera? Yeah, I think it's probably going to be a necessary part of the conversation. Okay. Let's go. Okay. (laughs) Uh, okay. So, please leave. Um. We have a member of the coalition on board. If you attack us, that is a crime. (laughs) Oh, a member of the coalition on board, eh? Well, I'm quaking in my boots, I am. They're nice boots. Uh, Who are you? Well, I'm, t- I'm just a crew member. I'm just on board. I just wanted to compliment your boots. Ah, great. Mm-hmm. Please leave. This is your last warning. Um, d- 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 ma'am, if I, if I may, um, didn't, didn't get your name. Um, Raya. Uh, R- Raya. Um, we, uh. Oh, real quick. Don't, don't mean. To... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, uh. Roll me a history check. Oh, sure. Upon hearing the name Rhea. Is this the same fucking Rhea? From Avernus, Spencer? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my it's God. her. It's her. Yes. She's flown so high above hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, oh, that's the now oh. one. Oh, is he? Oh, oh, oh is he? I would say gain an inspiration, but we're at the very end of session. Let him have quick. it next time. <laughs> give me something to roll. <laughs> yes. I guess mark inspiration, but I don't know if you'll be able to roll anything. Um <laughs> Find a way, Izzy, you can do it. Uh never mind. You don't uh, uh you don't remember anything. Gotcha. Um We actually uh so several members of the crew have a, a great interest in uh, speaking with you and your organization. Oh I bet. Uh, Coalition members wanting to talk. That makes sense. Yeah. I have... Listen, you are in... I can already tell you are in way over your head. Uh, Go back to wherever you came from. Leave us alone. It'll be your... It'll be for the best if you do so. I know the Coalition's dirty. (gasps) Do you? Yeah. Hmm. That's uh That's why uh your leader uh Mr. Voidbreaker was it? That's uh That's why they uh gave him the boot, isn't it? Hmm. You seem to know uh quite a bit of yeah, at least you think you know. I'm not sure how much you do. (laughs) But I'm willing to bet you might know another name. The Descendants of Obsidian. Hmm. I'll be right back. And the transmission cuts out. And uh, Mm -hmm. the, the ships are just still there. Uh, they're still surrounding you. What is going on? What What uh, are you talking about? 
Sparrow Taking a bit right of a gamble here. here. A gamble? We have you no like, time You like gambles. those? You, you love that, Captain. <laughs> really? You're a fan. Is the one time you don't want to take a gamble, Captain. Oh, it really... Oh, it sounds so nice. <laughs> you are too okay. easy. That is concerning. Let's, <laughs> let's give them a chance and see what the plan is. And then, you know, if it doesn't work out, we'll just leave like they're asking us to do. Yeah, yeah, we don't, don't there's like no reason to think get violent. And hopefully they don't start blasting. Yeah. Uh, two, a uh, couple quick things. Yes. Um, Pursuer. You mm -hmm. find it very difficult to take your gaze away from the planet below. Huh. Oh. Like something is drawing your attention to the planet. Just like a feeling? Like something just, like Yeah, just like, like a feeling. It's a feeling. Oh my god. Can he also oh, like, use the flow? Holy shit, what's up? <laughs> uh, well, like I'm mm -hmm. Oh, I I was like, assuming that I was like in the like the manning the battle station, you know, as usual as like a safety precaution, and I'm just through like through the, the gun port, I'm just staring at the planet. Um, it's, it's not great when we're not shooting the planet. Oh boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, Sparrow. Yes. You start hearing noises. Uh, it's not non-specific, but it's almost like a like a white noise. Um, you find it extremely hard. To concentrate on anything. Mechanically speaking, you have disadvantage on intelligence and wisdom checks and saving throws. Oh what the no! Fuck? Oh, I think I start getting a little kind of like unsteady on my feet. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like touching my ears. Like, oh, what? What? So, what, baby? Are you okay? Son above, what is that noise? There, there isn't any noise. Soraya. You can't. Yeah. You can sense through the flow. You know this is something from the flow. Mm -hmm. Something is very wrong. Uh, something very wrong coming uh, is coming from both the planet below and from Sparrow. Sparrow, I think something about that planet is affecting you. You what? What do you what do you mean? It's I, I'm just, I'm getting a strange feeling from 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 it and from you. I'm, I'm definitely not feeling my best. Mm. I get maybe a, maybe we shouldn't down. go through maybe we shouldn't go through with your plan. Maybe we should just get out of here and see if we can research what this place is later. No, no, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. We we might not get a better chance than this. I'm getting a really bad feeling though. And I like, I'm like, fucking, I'm trying to describe this, just kind of like with the eyebrows up and like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, just to clarify, mm -hmm. with the pursuer thing, is it like just my eyes? Like I'm, I'm just like transfixed on it. I just like really drawn into this. Like how, like can I, can I still like speak and like think beyond this? You but can. I'm just, like staring you can, at the planet. Yeah, you can still think and speak uh, and think for yourself, but like something. It's almost like an innate feeling of like something is down below that you can't take your eyes off of. It almost you almost have a sense of familiarity. It's, uh, it's hit, hitting the intercom. Guys, Captain. Something's, something's happening. I, I can't. We've got targets in front of us, and I can't look at them. What? Oh, I, there's so much going on right now. I, <laughs> I can't take my eyes off the planet. I'm that just, is... I'm looking, at the planet. Ah. Uh. Everything's normal in the engine room. <laughs> <laughs> so if that's a plus for anyone. Everything is going 
fine in the engine room, okay? It's beautiful. It's a bastion of normalcy in here, which is cool. Oh my god. Is there there's something about this planet. Hmm. It's it's messing with everybody. Oh my god. Maybe we should get out of here then. Uh no, no, please. We we need to investigate this. Something is clearly up. You are and being I... hailed. Oh. Again. Uh should I should we talk to them? Y- yeah, yeah, please. Do it. Hits the button. All right. What? Who are you? And she gets cut off. Uh, well, she doesn't get caught off per se. But Soraya. Yeah. You sense a very sharp feeling coming from the planet below. Mm. Someone or something has locked onto you specifically. (gasps) You feel like something terrible is going to happen within the next couple of seconds. Do you do anything? How do, how did he answer the call? Uh, he pressed a button to, uh, bring up the, the communication line. I hit the same button. I cut off the call. Okay. Call is cut off. Captain, we have to get out of here. I'm so serious. Something terrible is going to happen. We have to get out of here now. What do you? What do you? What do you mean? Can I like fucking get over the intercom? Can I like somehow? Oh, fuck no, because that Boban wouldn't be able to get us out of here. I need a pilot to get us out of here. The engine room wouldn't be a whole thing. Fuck. Mm-hmm. We have to leave. Coming from the I, planet. Uh... Fuck. It has been a couple of seconds. And I did say it was a couple of seconds. Yeah, I know. I Uh, know. (laughs) Fuck. From the planet below, from below the clouds, you see a massive just line of red, like a beam, shooting directly at you. The weapon fires and hits your ship. Getting caught in the crossfire is uh, one of the one of the fighters, presumably the one that was uh, that Rhea, uh, the girl, was talking to you from. Holy shit! The laser fires through her ship. And into yours. We have to leave. We have to get out of here. We have to. We have to try to jump or ship, something. The ship takes. Hold on, I gotta roll some dice. Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh, no, no, no. This is my fucking vision, y'all. We gotta get out of here. We're gonna crash into this I fucking planet. It might be a little late, but yeah. like you know. Yeah. Um, the ship takes 114 points of mega radiant damage. What? <laughs> How much can we take? 50. 50? Oh, oh my god! god. Our shield in the way, though. Yeah. I don't think that would have yeah. helped. <laughs> sure, you take 10 less damage. <laughs> it makes all the difference. Just picturing them seeing the beam and just fucking panicking. Shield! (laughs) You, uh, a massive laser (laughs) pierces through the, uh, through the hole of the ship like butter. This Uh, This is way too big and way too far along in what's happening for me to try to fucking Kylo Ren this. (laughs) Like, right? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, probably. A little oh, bit. Oh, it would have been so sick, though. Go mm. on. <laughs> the laser pierces through the hole of the ship. Uh, alarms immediately. Uh, blaring throughout the ship. The noise in your head, Sparrow, gets far worse, by the way. Yeah. 
Um, oh my god! Uh, you guys, the ship just breaks into multiple parts immediately. <laughs> oh my god! The ship is crash landing, uh, and it flies down to the uh, to the planet below. Um, retroactively. I want everybody who was looking at the window to make a perception check. Oh boy. I use, I want to use my inspiration that I got earlier to roll you the advantage. You are completely Shut. allowed. Yep. Hooray! Sparrow, would you like to do this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chase, you're still that rolling the privately. the wrong roll. Yeah. Let me try I that again. Mm. It was a 14. Do you want me to roll it one more time? Yeah, roll it one more time. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Hi y'all. Did it do it? It did. Is it doing it? All right, good. Which okay. uh, which checks did I have um, disadvantage on? Wisdom and intelligence. Okay, so straight roll then. Yep, straight yeah, roll. One of those. I know this uh, isn't what did it mine, did. Sorry, mine roll? Cool, it did. Yes. Cool. I That's I know cool. this isn't what it does. Okay. But when it feels like we're starting to crash land, could mm -hmm. I grab? anyone who's close to me and try to use like a protective field around all of us. Yeah. Uh, Sick. Why cool. don't you, why don't you give me a, uh, why don't you give me an intelligence check uh, okay. as you are using your abilities for something you have, you have no experience doing before. Yep. Again, <laughs> uh, once more, once more, <laughs> completely. It's gonna cost me so many energy today. We <laughs> tread your own path. Uh, yeah. Thirteen. Okay. A thirteen. We'll say you can grab one person very close to you. So it's probably Sparrow. That would be really close. It'd be to either Sparrow, Sparrow or yeah. the captain. I heard the captain yelling in my vision. Mm -hmm. So he might get hurt, but I know that he's alive. I didn't hear anybody else. I would grab Sparrow. Okay. Yeah. You grab <laughs> Sparrow. I'm I got you, bitch. Yeah, you fucked up. Yeah. Sparrow. You grab Sparrow. And that is the last thing you do. Uh, yeah, fair. Fair. How many energy died that cost me? <laughs> uh, We'll say you that cost you three. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> God damn. Well... It is part. It is kind of part of your uh, your normal kit already. I'm just using it for a different thing. You're just using it so. for a different purpose. So, so maybe two. Yeah, let's say it's two. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, the ship is completely and utterly destroyed. The the rest of the the debris of the ship crash lands. All of your visions go dark. What was the perception check we rolled for? Yeah. Pursuer, you were the only one who noticed this. Oh, that's fair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The beam that fired up from the planet below. Makes sense. Your gaze was already out looking at that planet. Um, yep. <laughs> the clouds completely surrounding the planet did not part for that laser. It almost looked like a it passed through them like an illusion. Is this entire oh. planet cloaked in illusion magic? You all crash land. One more thing I want to do. Oh God. Okay. Soraya. Yeah, man. Smoke. Smoke starts to fill your lungs. You, oh. st you start to realize this as you're regaining consciousness. Your head is spinning as you look around at the world around you. The world the last thing you remember is being on a ship in space. You finally start to feel the pressure on you 
as you realize that the ship you were on previously is now in pieces all around you, and some of it is on top of you, pinning you in place. As that dawns on you, you hear a voice, desperate in his tone. Help! Help me! Please! Is anybody out there? The voice is weak, like it's been screaming this for hours. As you try to focus your gaze to get a clear image of the man, your vision does not pull you away this time. You are struck with the realization that this isn't a vision. This is real. Captain Harrison Steele, as you've come to realize, is really screaming for help as he's being crushed by pieces of debris. Oh. And that is where we're going to end today's session. You're a whore. <laughs> How dare you? Listen, I had to end it where we began. <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah. Full <laughs> circle, baby. Oh, campaign finally begins. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. We can finally play the game. Oh. I knew about this so far in advance and still couldn't stop it. <laughs> oh, oh I'm such a shit. Fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh god. I'm sure it's fine. Um <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my oh god. Boy. Oh. Isn't that great? <laughs> um Well. You're a fucking well. monster. <laughs> <laughs> It's a cliffhanger. Oh, yeah, this it is. is. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's, that's the you? end of the prologue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's like at monster. this point we finally get the fucking title drop. Yeah. Holy for sure. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I'm sure everything will be fine. Well, I got two weeks to come up with a plan. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, did uh, did Soraya crush me? Am I underneath Soraya? <laughs> That's a good question. It's a good question. Yep. You're a bitch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> sure is. Gonna make me wait two weeks to find out the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> oh, damn right. it! <laughs> All right, we're gonna end the uh, we're gonna end the podcast there, I believe. Um, I want to keep playing. That's <laughs> fair. That's fair. What if we just kept playing? What if? <laughs> what if? Um, yeah, we're gonna end there. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, joining us. We'll catch you. We'll catch you next time. All right. Oh, goodbye, bye, everybody. Bye, love bye, you. See you in the stars. See you in the stars. Oh. See you in the stars. See ya. All right, they're out. Um, all right, now we gotta we gotta find somebody to raid. That's it's a fair so thing. So sad. It's so uh. sad. I'm just so sad. There's Segway Virginia with 66. There's Lanny nice with 66. Oh, There's nice. uh, Is Old Aaron Frost going? with 11. Yep. It's true. It's true. Oh yeah, yeah. There he is. Missed him. Lenny's got sixty-nine. Nice, nice. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> oh, I can Alpha Anakin's going. You got twenty-one, oh. and I think they're doing the the Dur and Dur with the, with the Scylla. Oh hell oh, yeah! Yeah. Get him. Let's Get him. Go. Fuck hell yeah. Go. Oh no! Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Or no. I love that you realized what you were saying midway through and started laughing. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my god. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, sorry, who are you reading? Uh, Aaron, uh, Alpha Anakin. Alpha Anakin. One sec. I'll copy paste for you. Alpha. I got it. I'll give it. Starting. Ah. Uh, I think Barry heard uh, that we ended stream. <laughs> yep, that sounds like Barry. Yeah. Big berry energy. Yep, she mm. knew. She fucking knew. <laughs> Good old uh -huh. berry's berry best. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. 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 O
<laughs> he says Barry. <laughs> he says Barry. <laughs> it's a big Barry thing to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, yeah, thank you all for joining us for two more episodes mm -hmm. of the Crypt Star Saga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Uh, um, we'll, uh... <laughs> yeah. I don't know if like three of our boys are even alive. It just killed off fucking Sparrow, Bowman, and Pursuer, you <laughs> son of a bitch. And the rest, I guess. <laughs> we, <laughs> Listen! And others. They're the PCs, okay? I care about the PCs. <laughs> Everyone's racing to make friends with Aelion. It's like, I don't care if she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, later, dudes. We'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.